welcome 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 everybody anthony here with the bull burritos and we are going to be bringing you the match of the week this week in osiris league Whew, the horse realm gonna start looking real thick here in 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 a couple of weeks so keep your eyes out this is a match that we're going to be casting that it's one of those matches that could have been a top four type match and we're getting it before top 32 this is going to be insane one of these two monsters these two juggernauts that are consistently in top 16 aren't even going to make it into top what 100 this season just think about that it's gonna be absolutely nutty and i'm so excited for it Whew. but before we dive into this baby before we dive into this i want to let y'all know for all of our new viewers out there i am anthony my wife and I are variety streamers, streaming mobile games such as Rise of Kingdoms, all the way to first-person shooters such as Call of Duty and everything in between, fam. So if you like that kind of content, make sure you sub to the channel. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss a single live stream. And do me a massive favor. If you want more Rise of Kingdoms content, smash that like button, lick it, kick it, punch it, knee it, elbow, you know, high-five it. I don't care. It lets us know that y'all want more content below man we are jumping in this is the hot time slot right here this is the match of the week the one that our members have voted on and avidly wanted this wasn't even close so i hope y'all are here and as excited as i am about this match it's gonna be phenomenal we aren't gonna waste very much time i'm gonna flip over we'll talk about it a little bit maybe we'll go look at some kvk kill a little time we're gonna hang out with the crew and chat but yeah we are going to be casting over. Well, let me just flip it and we'll show y'all. There we go. There's our big boy match right there. Let me fire up some music real quick. We didn't have, let's put, let's change it up. Let's put a little electronic type stuff in this. Let's, see. Mm, mm -mm. let's get it going. Let's get the party started. Yeah. I'm so excited. Are y'all excited for the match? Hey, welcome to the stream, my friend. Make sure if you're new to the stream, you say hi. I always like saying thank you and giving you all appreciation for hanging out with us and supporting the stream. All right. So we are checking out Division 12 in the Horus Realm. UCS versus Snow. Man, look at UCS. They stacked. They trained so much. Look at the power. Oh, Lord. This, just to give you all an idea, this power right here, if they would have registered, they would have been, I believe, number one. That's nuts. So much training. And snow. Always the underdog. But they always, they never disappoint. Guys, I'm telling y'all, I'll pull up who we have winning, who we who we chose this week for this. This is gonna be the big one, one of the big ones. 15 UTC. We got BLN versus SX54. I think that's gonna be a phenomenal match. Phenomenal match. Um, we got Smash Squad versus Peak. Don't sleep on Peak. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you, don't sleep on them. So hopefully that will be a phenomenal match as well. We got the, our match of the week, which is UCS versus Snow, Battle of the Titans. It's going to be delicious and nutritious, this match. I'm telling you right here. What do you think of the new sieves? Um, I think it depends. So here are my thoughts. And these are just raw thoughts. These aren't leaks or anything. This is just my raw thoughts, okay? Based on some of the leaks that I saw. I like the idea. It's the, the sea warfare. Is something I advocated for almost a year and a half ago. You know, I think it was my possible solution to in the original KVKs. Y'all know how everybody used to get locked into the zone. I thought if you put bodies of water going around the territories, even if they block the pass, you could still go over the water and still jump. I think it opens up other ways of fighting, which is always fun. I don't think it's going to be what we what we would love for it to be, which is like open sea warfare kind of deal. That would be dope as shit. Can you imagine a game mode or something that had a big ass body of water and we're just controlling ships? 
I think I think that dives into a whole other game, but I you know, a man can dream. Um the question that I want, and this is the part where it loses me a little bit, if you introduce that, okay. I want everything to kind of intertwine. Okay, so you're introducing bodies of water, you're introducing stuff like that. I want to see Athens, I want to see Vikings. I want to see civilizations that excelled in water warfare and that is, I wanted commanders. I want it all. I want them to like blow this shit out of the water. If they're going to bring that in, if that makes sense to me. So I'm a little leery because usually when I have high hopes for something, it usually lets me down. So I don't want to get my hopes up too high because I don't think they can introduce all of that. I just want it to be cohesive. So if you're going to introduce water warfare, I expect Athens. They like they literally had one of the biggest navies in in history. And if you don't introduce Athens, it's it's or Athens commanders or you know what I mean? Like it's just there's so many Vikings they're doing. I believe that was it was for Vikings. That makes sense. I just wanted to introduce into kind of but at the same time I also worry because Civ Civ, uh, civilization changes 10,000 gems you know what I mean they need to make it so that it's a little bit more accessible 10,000 is a little excessive even if you cut that by half I still think that's a lot but I it's still doable but 10,000 gems get the fuck you know what I'm saying yo what's going on blaze out here representing that sexy badge let me ask y'all in chat y'all are here we got 31 beautiful people here but only four likes what the fuck um I, do, would y'all like sea warfare? Would y'all like some sort of warfare that's in the ocean or in bodies of water? I think it introduces a whole other gameplay where you can cross over bridges or I don't know ideally in my mind how that's going to work on a map. How, how do you go from your march being on the ground to in the sea to on the ground again? That's the one thing I don't understand and they haven't really explained is that is that is it a transitional type deal where you're taking a march it's going over a boat that then crosses the water that then turns back in like, we don't know that part that's the part that i'm leery on and i'm trying to figure out ali salutations good sir How, did my shout out help you ali last stream did the baby come back did she come back Martin, two million credit. Yeah, two million credit. I guess with the ethels, I guess with the ethyl exchanges and stuff like that, two million isn't that bad. So I guess in that way, you're you're correct on that. Easy with ethyl trading. I guess that's probably correct. You're you're correct on that one. How will commanders work on bodies of water though? That's that's what I'm trying to say. That's the thing that we don't know. We don't know how land and sea are going to interact with each other or if they are in at all that's the one thing battle wise that i'm not sure on now i will say this okay i will say this this would be pretty dope it makes more sense now having seven marches if you can dedicate a couple to battling on the on the bodies of water now you're piquing my interest okay because it opens you up for a lot of other things if you have seven and you can dedicate five to fighting on land two to fighting in water and you can start blending that i love that i i really do like that because then you're varying the battles that are going to occur that would interest me a lot because then seven if you only had five and you had to split like that it makes it a little awkward but with seven that would be pretty dope you can still have your five have two or have one provisioning have or one gathering and then one battling on the on the ocean or the water. I I think, but at the same time, I think the map's gonna have to be tremendously bigger too. That's the something that a lot of people aren't thinking about. With more ways of fighting, you have to have more bodies of water. Because imagine, in your mind, here I'm playing devil's advocate. Imagine this: a body of water, and you have a thousand boats in the body of water. Can you imagine the fucking lag on that? It's gonna be insane. It's gonna be stupid. If you have a thousand, even if there's no bat, like no warfare aspect to it, if you have a thousand boats going back and forth on bodies of water, <laughs> shit, it's going to be nuts. It's going to be stupid. Doesn't fit ROK in my opinion. 
I yeah, I think it does though. That's the thing. You just have to do it in the right way. To say that 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 like naval warfare wasn't a part of history is absurd. Athens literally is one besides besides you know their their government aspects of stuff. Their their navy was regarded as one of the you know one of the one of the largest and most influential you know sea warfare type civilizations out there. So to say it doesn't belong, that's like saying that that the Romans, you know, shouldn't have, you know, some of their warfare tactics shouldn't be used on land. I, I think that's kind of, that's pulling a blind eye. And there's potential for a lot of growth if you introduce that. Whether it's in KVK or not, I'm not arguing with that. I'm saying, what if they do a KVK with nothing but bodies of water? Or you can then start purchasing legendary boats, epic boats you know different types of cannon there, there's it opens your game up because the problem is is there's gonna come a point in rise of kingdoms where you've essentially established everything you can on land you know what what else are they gonna do they have free movement which is by far the biggest selling point here okay they have bridges they have stuff maybe if you introduce like three-dimensional like elevated positions where you can climb up and fight up, uh, you know, a mountain or structures or stuff like that, maybe. But that adds in a whole other dimension. So I think this is going in. It's going to be weird. OK, don't get me wrong. It's going to seem clunky. It's going to be. This is a shift that I think is a massive shift for potentially opening up a lot of doors in the future. OK, so for those of y'all who are OGs of ROK, you remember when they introduced the free movement system how dog shit it was and it was legit dog shit okay it, it was clunky it was buggy it was you know and then they started working out the bugs and then it got better and now it is what it is okay i feel like this is going to be the same thing it's going to start out it's a great idea it's it might be a little underwhelming at at the beginning but it's going to open up a lot of doors for potential events uh battle styles stuff like that where Imagine Osiris Lee. Imagine something like that. Okay. You're doing King of the Hill with a bunch of boats. Or you're doing uh domination with a bunch of boats. You can do land and sea battles for that matter. You do a game mode where boats, you have circles, you're trying to dominate, kick people out. You could do the same thing on land, or you could do a whole a whole game mode where it's land, sea, and air. Like you, you get what I'm saying? You're building stuff out potentially. I know I'm a big ass dreamer. But I like to think for the impossible or for things that aren't likely, because the second you limit you, you limit your thoughts, you're going to you're, you're going to come up with dog shit ideas. Just always overshoot and then you can rein back your ideas. That's what I like. I want the game to be improved as it is right now. Um, I think those are quality of life, though, one. That's my thought. Those are quality of life fixes. Those aren't game growing mediums. That makes sense. I think those should be done naturally. Those shouldn't be something that has to be a massive release. You know, fixing bugs, making it the server stable, doing that's all quality of life stuff. That's not stuff that's going to make your game grow and make more money over a long time period. Hey, Boba, they'll probably give one Civ change item after the new Civ. I hope so. That'd be pretty dope to check out. I tend not to use my Alliance shop stuff because I'm going to use those for KVK. I'm going to use those for teleports. I'm going to use those for a lot of other things. So that's why I'm like, I like, I'm okay with people doing it. If I'm only going to switch once, that's not a problem. We had a close game, 114L versus Go GT. Nice. Yeah, I saw the score is pretty good. Perhaps they will introduce the Titanic ship in game. <laughs> Can you imagine somebody changed their name to the Titanic? And then, <laughs> doo -doo 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 -doo, and then it gets sunk and you're like, Can you imagine the content clips for that? Oh man, I would die. I would die of laughter. I would die of laughter if somebody named themselves the Titanic in game. And then you just see the boat coming and it's. <laughs> I would laugh so hard. Oh, man. 
unfortunately she blocked me on whatsapp oh man hopefully snowball fighting kvk once they're eliminated yeah i wouldn't hold my breath my friend they made it further than than uh than ucs last season uh they will give us some civ changers <laughs> A commander with aquatic skills. What do you think? I, I'm going to be calling it. Y'all can go back to several videos. Those of y'all who've been here long enough, you know I've been calling for, for ocean and sea warfare for a long time. Because I see potential for it. I see Athens, Vikings. It introduces a lot of civilizations that had naval warfare. And to be blind to that is is is, is kind of a, a, a shoot and a miss kind of deal. A shoot and a miss. So we're watching we got six minutes before the match starts we will talk about keys to victory here in a hot second i just want to catch up in chat and i'm having fun talking with y'all ship rally mechanic can you imagine that see y'all y'all are saying some of these things as a joke but you know you'd be hype you'd be hype as fuck if you could rally with a bunch of like or assemble a navy and attack some shit <laughs> shit y'all be so excited y'all don't even know in history it belongs of course but can't see how it would implement an rok with the way the game works because you're thinking about them adding it into the existing map the current map that's the problem let me ask you this imagine a map okay and this is just me throwing ideas me dreaming okay imagine a map that has bodies of water okay in the center of the map where you would have the temple and have all that shit it's a massive fucking body of water with the temple on an island in the middle of the island. Bodies of water would cross over the territory lines. That way you could always go naval warfare. You start introducing bodies of water on territory lines. That way you can't block people off. And it essentially makes stuff very, very interesting. You can have naval passes. You can introduce a lot of things. But imagine that. The key, you're getting into King's Landing and it's all about your fucking Navy. You're going from land to sea. You start out on your starting zones. You're working your way out. You have small bodies of water that cross over territories. And then in the middle, you have a massive fucking body of water with the temple right in the middle of the map. So then you have epic land battles followed by epic naval battles to then top it all off. I think... Now, I will say, if you're going to introduce something like that, the map would have to be almost twice as big. And that's where the problem comes in. But I'm just telling you ideas to get you, like, excitement. Like, that is what I would envision, and that is what I think of. Let me see. A body of water. Most likely. Can you imagine? Imagine this, okay? I'll ask you this. If the map was bigger, so on and so forth, forget it. Just the concept. If you had open movement ships would that excite you ship warfare with open movement where you can direct ships because think about it you're already doing it with marches what's to stop them from making fucking boat icons where you can do the same fucking thing on a body of water would that excite y'all uh, let me know in chat would that excite y'all Map updates would be sick. There aren't enough bridges, choke points, etc. You, you, that's why I said you would have to introduce a new map. You can't do it on the current map, which is what a lot of people are thinking. They're like, oh, I don't see how it's going to work on the current. If you're going to introduce water warfare and stuff like that, you can't do it on the current map. You just can't. Or at least not to where it's going to be exciting. Hugely inspired by the AOE series. And it was ships and gunpowder units. Netto, but I'm telling you right now, you don't think ships have AOE? They have cannon fire. They have, you can introduce ram, ram. Like if you're going to ram somebody, you can introduce AOE for ramming. You know, there's so many things that you can do. Circle AOE on a ship. Maybe you have like all, like a skill that where all the cannons fire at one time and it does like a circle AOE. You could do, there's so many skills. You can add skills to the boats. I know that's not, that's going to piss a lot of people off, but. All right, we got two minutes, fam. All right, let me dive into this. I will get back to this. We can talk about this more. Keys to victory. UCS, there's three of them. UCS, they need to dominate structures. Period. End of story. They cannot let snow hang in there. They need to dominate structures too. 
they need to take they need to split the arcs okay they need to at least go one for one two for one they need to take at least one arc okay three they cannot let the provisions get out of hand they cannot it has to be a point of emphasis provisions will be a factor in this match okay so they cannot let it get completely out of hand they will have to provision and be on their game with that okay snow if they want to win it's the complete opposite they need to dominate provisions i expect skills to get popped i expect multiple provisioners i expect a lot of, if i don't see 10k provisions from snow i'm i will be disappointed and i know for a lot of people i'm not saying one person does 10k I'm saying that they need to get a lot of provisions because I think they're going to get dominated in, in the structure game, which comes to my second point for snow. They need to keep that close, whether they're neutralizing all the time or whatever it is they need to, they need to keep it close. And number three, snow has to be the aggressor. They have to be the aggressor. They can't, they need to come out the gates hot. They need to swarm hot. They need to go in mid hot. They need to provision their ass off hot. They need to literally go full send face and wall. There is no ebb and flow on this one. There is no ebb and flow. Snow need to pedal to the metal, always moving forward. I, they just need to own the field. They need to be the aggressor, which is going to be hard with UCS, but they need to try. That's what they need to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all ready? Let's do this. The match is about to begin. Let's get in here of match of the week. UCS versus Snow. Post in the comments and the live chat if you're watching with us. Who you got winning? I want to see all of y'all flooding it. You got 55 people in here and 15 views. Do me a massive favor if y'all appreciate the content. Make sure y'all drop a like on the vid. Let's me know. waka the pearl ship from pirates of the caribbean <laughs> i see more lag well there's lag anyways bohemian so there's no dodging that i remember you saying that a while back i said it i've said it for a long time oh ship rally would be crazy i think it, it just guys y'all have to remember if if this is a game that you want to last for a long time they have to do stuff like this they have to do game modes and add additional things and add additional ways to fight and add like i think I think if you did island, like I could see in my mind me drawing up a map where it's just a bunch of islands and then you have a massive island and you're doing like island war, like you could do islands instead of instead of starting zones for KVK. There's so many things you can do and it opens the, the imagination up. It allows you different game modes. I think I think it just opens up so many, so many opportunities. Can you also stream Osiris League battles in Bastet and other realms? I would love to, my friend, but I don't know anybody in Sobek and Baztet. It's just hard. I wanna, I wanna commit to one, to one realm in the top 16. It's top 32. I'm, I'm gonna look at a couple matches. So I, I promised everybody that I would do it a couple. Um, all right, let me do this real quick before I forget. But I am gonna do some. Okay, I know everyone wants to see T2A. They want to see WIB. But in my opinion, Baztet and Sobek don't have, comp they're not going to have competitive matches until top 16. And that's just my opinion. I think there's too many, too many weaker. Well, I guess top 32, I would say that. Top 16, I think is going to be really good for Baztet. Sobek, I'm not sure. Um, but for, for Baztet, I am going to look at doing some top 32, top 16 type matches. The question is, is the community willing to not see a really good Horus match to see a Baztet match? That is where the question comes in. Not whether I want to. If nobody wants to watch it, then it, it makes no difference what I'm casting. All right, here we go. Here we go, Governor. Hello, Governor. All right, let's see. Or we're going to start on the side of let's we're gonna start with snow we're gonna start with snow let me get Ooh, they're already short hopefully the backups are ready hopefully the backups are ready there's one all right we're going on the side of snow 
Should look like Walmart on Black Friday, baby. We got a couple CCs. Oh, no. Please tile hop. Bro, come on, Uncle Tom. Your ass needs to be tile hot. Dude, he literally ran around the tile. Yo, look. Bruh. <laughs> bruh. Bruh. Holla at me, bruh. Dude, so many archers. Lord almighty. So many. You love to see it, though. CCs. So many archers. The Hova gang coming in thick. Our boy Hova out here representing all these guys. Holy smoke. So many archers. It's going to be interesting to see if people start countering this and sending just full sending a bunch of Attilas and Chandras in order to counter all these archers. Because that is a lot of archers. Unless they're a bunch of Artemisia's. Artemisia tends to hold up pretty well. Ooh, look at this. Oh, man. They are going heavy bottom. Heavy presence on bottom. There we go. Hard push has been popped. Uh, of course, it'd be exciting for ROK players. You watch too many movies. Dude, I love movies, Wanted. How do you not love movies? For those of y'all, shout out. If you've never seen Kingdom of Heaven, the director's cut, do me a favor. Go and watch it. It will blow your mind. It changes so many things and adds in so many uh, additional things that should have been in the original. Go watch it. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Boom. Or if you've never seen the director's cut for Lord of the Rings, sweet Jesus, do yourself a favor. It adds on an extra hour, but it is totally worth it for every movie. Totally worth it. They are going heavy bottom. Heavy bottom. They're pretty fanned out. Okay. Let's look at UCS. And they're split pretty even. Nice. Okay. Let's see what we're looking at here. Takeda's, Artemisia's. We got some archers. There's our Zeno. You know what I want to see? I want to start seeing some people do something different where they send a bunch of CCs and go and swarm a Zeno. Or go and do something where it's going to... You know what I mean? Just something different. Something different off the start where you send a bunch of CCs up the middle. You find the Zeno and you target her off the rip. Kill off your, your CCs, but you, you're you're lowering the garrison. I just want to see some different stuff coming down the lane. Because yeah, Zeno is so powerful once you get her. Ooh, we got the Archer Rally coming through. Interesting. Two minutes before Shrines and Altars open up. We're going to keep our eyes open. Is this the biggest match? I personally believe this one or the BLN versus SX54 are the two biggest matches. That's just my my personal opinion. I think those are the two matches to watch. Oh, they're going to let it fly. Oh, they're going to let it fly. Hey, oh, we're going to pay attention to this. Let's see. Do they have their infantry or is it Cav? This is interesting. I like it. Let's see how, how bad it gets swarmed down. It should get swarmed down to high Jeebus. But let's see. Oh, the reinforcements are here too. Oh. Oh, but they're already porting in. Oh, the timing's going to be huge here. I still think they're going to hold in the obelisk. Yeah, it's going to hold. It's going to hold. That was a nice little play. If there would have been infantry in there, whoo, it would have got smoked. It would have got smoked. The Zeno swarming on the outside. You love to see it. Oh, Jesus. Look at the CC marches. Mmm. Look how delicious. So many CCs. Is that a Zeno standing outside with a con garrison? Bro, no shot. Get him, CC. Ooh. I like it. You love to see it. They're going to keep reinforcing it, so I don't think they're going to take it. We need to flip over real quick, but that's pretty. I like that. I like that. The Zeno finally got in. All right, let's go look at these. All right. Oh, and Snow get in. They did the smart play. They they went on the front side to confront UCS before. But these garrisons are a little sus potato. Let's let's look. We're looking for we're looking for the Zenos. 
That's what we're looking for. And I don't see him. I think the Zeno was in the back for the obelisk. Leo, oh no. Just like that, it is even across the board. Nobody, nobody is in the shrine of life. Lol. Go, Cookie. You got it, Cookie. All right. Are the CC still going ham? No, they got nuked. All right, they got nuked. Here we go. Battles. Leo Garrison. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Got our first Trajan sighting. We love to see it. 19k provision score. <laughs> y'all thought I was fucking lying to y'all. I'm telling you. I've never watched Lord of the Ring. What? Bro, Zeus. What are you doing? New strat. IF28 is blocking all TP spots at OV Obelisk with T1 cab troops. That's pretty... That is... I said that's smart. That's a smart play. No, that's a smart play. Like, it's the same thing. Like, if you're winning and you have a good point advantage, somebody told me that they played against 1008 and they literally full send to the obelisk with marches and then popped to the death and literally swarmed and, and took out like eight cities, 800 mil cities. They took them all out and made them port back. Like it's a it's a strat, it's a play. They did it and they took it multiple times. They took their obelisk. So it is something to experiment with. 10 seconds, this will be too little too late. Ooh. Oh. Fatality. The Zeno finally gets in. Oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> Welcome. That is why you don't send archers by themselves. Yo. The Zeno should hold on this. Ark's going to spawn in five minutes. We're going to head over to the middle. Let's see who we got. Do we have anybody? I expect UCS. UCS is probably going to get here first. That's what I, I, on every arc, I think they will make it a point to be there first for every arc. So if they see nobody here after, in four and a half minutes, they'll probably show up a little bit later next time. But I suspect they'll always be the first ones here. And here they come. This is going to be interesting. So this lets us know one thing. If they fully abandon the Shrine of War, that means there's a Zeno in there. So if you understand that, you send that Archer Rally, you swarm it with your Archer Rally, and you will get this structure. Okay, so that is what you're looking for. That is what you're looking for. Somebody just set an Archer Rally. There shouldn't be anybody coming. There you go. Full send, and then you swarm plus Archer Rally. So he's doing the smart play. He's killing off his March, which is smart. Always should be going forward. You're looking for Snow to always be going forward. And here they come. It's very interesting how many people are abandoning. Holy smokes. Look, they're abandoning everything, but this is the play. This is what we talk about. You lower your Attila, your rally low enough to where Zeno will absolutely fry it. And then once that's there, then you start coming in and this is going to be high. Now, the one thing I don't like is that UCS are sitting on the backside. They could have had the forward facing position. And this is why I tell y'all all the time, if you were first, and nobody is there. You always posture up on the enemy side. Always, always, always. Because now them trying to get to the front is going to be a nightmare. Because now they have to go through all of these marches. Dude, this this, this is probably going to crash the iPad. I'm telling you right here. They are all going to ball up. And it is about to get nasty. Ooh, we're going to keep our eyes on that. Zeno, Ramses. Look at this. I'm telling you. All right. I got sent to the Shadow Realm. This is very tight. Very, very tight. On the top side, they did lose, but it's YSS. This should go down. This should go down. But this is where you want to be. Ooh, seeing those rallies come for the outpost. I want to see a break off on top. Break off on top. This is what you haven't been seeing is they're sending for an outpost, which I don't like rallies on outposts. I think you can easily take outposts with single marches. So I don't feel like you need, you need more marches in the middle. And here we go. Ooh, they popped those skills so early. Two minutes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Getting there nice and deep lock. Here we go, fam. Fam, what are we doing? We got 83 viewers and 20 likes. Smash that like button. If you're already here, do me a favor. 
What kingdoms are these from? Uh, UCS is in Kingdom 2, Lawrence. And um, Snow is from Kingdom 1177. Hi. It's good to see you, my friend. You and your good-looking badge. I like it. I like it. I like your sweet badge. Ooh, sad faces everywhere. If you're a member, you already know what we're popping, baby. We're popping that woodshed. We're popping that 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 bulba death emoji now. We got we put the bulba death emoji in there. There's the bulba death emoji. Lots of sad faces everywhere. Arc spawning in one minute. Yeah, the this the the casts are the one place I never will complain about spamming emojis ever. I want y'all to spam them if you're a member. That is th those are the major spots. People getting sent to the fucking woodshed. Lordy, one minute. It looks like UCS are clearing them out though. And there we go. Let's look at the points per minute for a hot second. It's in favor of snow, so they are doing the smart play if they hold this. Remember, they still got to run this arc, so. Let's see if they're going to send any more. I think Snow will just invest on the structures as of right now, and they won't send. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, that Caesar garrison. Mmm. It's so delicious. So delicious. Did I just see a CC Matilda? Bruh. I did not just see a CC Matilda. Bruh. Somebody screenshot that and we're going to flame the shit out of CC Matilda. Get the fuck out of here. A 5 billion power alliance in Ark of Osiris. And you're telling me CC Matilda is your shot? No fucking shot. No shot, CC Matilda. Bruh. We need to take a hard look at his marches. Sus potato. There you go, Lambo. I said it for you, bro. Sus potato. Look at all the Trajans. You love to see it. Matilda should be banned. Dang. Even when I'm not talking about it, I'm still getting roasted. <laughs> Don't worry, Juan. I still got the hearts for you. Look at this. Look at that. I still got those. Look at those. Boba love. Boba love. Give him the love tonight. Yeah. Here you go. A Zeno. Where's the Matilda at? You love to see it. Bitch. Is this a counter rally? Ooh. We got to No, it's going through. It's Dude, it's going to get hit by all the AoE. That's amazing. That's funny as shit. <laughs> I didn't manage to watch your drunk stream from the other night, but I watched the whole stream in the background this morning and it was hilarious. Mrs. Bulba guest appearance too. Yeah, she's funny. I'm glad you liked it, bud. We're just here having some fun, fam. That's it. That's all. It's all love and it's all fun. That's all we care about. If y'all keep scores, guys, if y'all are looking at scores, can y'all let me know uh, what some of the matches are looking like, like BLN and Smash Squad? Uh, and those those close matches, please, if they're top 32. Here we go. Snow. Lol. Newsflash. John Wick did not grab the arc. What? Dude, he's such a whale now that he's a content creator. He's, not, he's never going to touch an arc again. Y'all spoiled him. He got all these subs. And now he just wants to be the guy running with, with uh, CC Matilda, you know, instead of, you know, he wants to be that garrison captain. He wants to be that garrison captain, motherfuckers. Y'all spoiled him rotten, I'm telling you. It was another OV member, LOL. <laughs> they must have banned Belisarius, I'm telling you. It threw him off his game. They banned Belisarius and John didn't know what to do. I'm telling you. High octane gameplay right there. 
All right, the arc has been captured. That was worth 3,000 score. We are now level points per minute for 40 each. Oh, yeah. Why Cyrus? New meta. There's a ton of archers. Archer, archer, archer. Uh, and mainly, it has to deal with the effectiveness against Zenobia. In my personal opinion, I think it has more to do with that than it has to do with anything else. I think Artemisia is very good because she's tanky. Send her to the middle. She does good work with AoE commanders, stuff like that. But also the focus, the refocus on AoE is a big thing with archers. So having YSG secondary or Artemisia YSG or Ramses or just having a lot of AoE, a lot of DPS and being effective against Zenobia are probably some of the big, the big takeaways from that. Oh, let's see. Peak is beating Smash Squad by 100 points. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go, Peak. I'm not biased, okay? I'm not biased. I told y'all, don't fucking sleep on him. By 200 points, dang. But do they have the arc, though? If they have the arc, then that's actually 3K+. Plus. Unless they don't capture it immediately. But we'll see. I, I told y'all that's going to be a good match. But on the second hand, I do not want to take a pie to the face. So, and uh, Groggy said he would run the streets naked if he lost. So, high octane content. The AOE hurts so many marches in the process of taking down Zeno. It's hard. Yep. 590 to 440 points per minute smash squad. Smash Squad never disappoints on, on structures. I've never worried about Smash Squad on structures. I worry about their mid game. That's always been the issue. The mid game has always been the crutch for Smash Squad. That's why they lost to Eve. That's why, like, that's that's their crutch. It's the same way with 1AVG. I've always told Matt, I've told everybody, the crutch for 1AVG has always been Arc. It hasn't been structures. 1AVG. You know, a lot of teams take structures very easily. The taking the structure part is never hard for them. It's the organizing and the timing of mid game that always screws a lot of good teams. Look at so many blue marches. Mmm, juicy, juicy, juicy. But look, why are they still swarming Attila? There you go. With five minutes left, I like this play. I, I would, I was gonna say to send them metal, but I like the idea of being aggressive and pushing forward with these marches. I like this. I don't necessarily like the idea of standing here, but cool. YOLO. Let me see. There you go, Zeno. See, there's a ton of blue presence forward facing. That's what you want. That's what you want right there. Squad is 3k. What? Oh no. Ooh, top 32. P2L, 114, P2L, 3K ahead. More structure points, 114 has still the arc. Okay. P2L, I was a little worried because a lot of people don't understand that 114W is actually the 92SK team that made it into top 32 last season. Okay. For those of y'all who don't know, they were very good. The difference was the pool that they landed in for top 32 was a death pool. It and they ended up with HKL with 1341, which is now squad. It was them and then one other team. So their their fights were super hard last top 32, but they were very good. Very, very good. So if you're ready, you should be full sending in the middle right now or moving forward to try to cut off. Oh, and did, did we not say it? And they should be full sending here. There you go. Doing the smart play. Somebody doing that. There you go. Now, here's the trick. They are sending a lot of marches to mid. A lot of marches. Are they going to be able to sustain the structure game on the outside? This arc is going to be worth 3,500 points. So we're going to keep our eyes on it. I want to see these rallies break. I want to see them break. I want to see them come topside right here and break and then split and then just... Basically, you're like behind enemy lines and you're just trying to stir the pot. That is what I want to see. That is what I want to see. 
the ball. The ball. See, the timing should line up. I think with these marches, if they broke up top, this would be beneficial. But people aren't. And here comes Ro here comes Snow. I almost said Rose. Here comes Snow. Look at the archers. The AOE is going to be fucking nutty. Going to be nutty. They're trying to bait out the skills. Look at this. They're trying to bait out the skills. If you're Snow, just pull back. Just pull back. Don't let them bait you. Oh, did they bait them into it? They might have. If you're Snow, back up. Back up. You got two minutes. Back up. Oh, all right. They're just going to go full send in it. Full send in it. I think the timing would have been better if they would have just backed up for a couple of seconds to let the, the skill time tick just to waste it and then move forward and then hit them. But that call is a little bit... That's a tough one to make. That's a tough one to make. Well, Lambo Peak is winning or they're losing by that. I assume it's them winning. Peak took first arc. UOO, -Yo, 4 billion and behind 4K. Oh, you owe, I don't think are very good. A lot of people keep saying they are. 2K behind now. SX54 is up on BLN by 3K. Oh, that's another top 32. One AVG is 10K ahead. Lol, lol in chat. MTO losing so far, 9.4 to 13. Peak looking strong. Guys, I'm telling you, motherfuckers. Y'all don't, I'm telling you guys. Y'all do not believe me when I make my picks. And I'm telling you, I called so many of them. So many of them. But UCS right now, I picked Snow, so I could be wrong in this one. But Snow need this arc. They need this arc. They are down by 4K. This next arc's worth 3,500. It puts them back in. But if UCS get this arc, that's 7K. You're starting, you're, you're looking, even with provisions, that's going to be real tight. That's going to be a hard hill to climb. 30 seconds. I want to see who grabs this arc. I think he's going to, I think Saint's going to try to grab it from the side to try to sneak it out. Let's see if the ball moves towards Saint. I bet you it's going to move it. They're going to start dragging all the marches to these arc runners. 20 seconds, arc spawns. This is a big arc right here. This will decide. This may not win the match. If you're in snow, it brings it back. But if you're in UCS and you win this arc right here, this puts you in the driver's seat for a clean victory. Because that puts you up almost 7K. It'll be about 9K. The arc, who's grabbing it? Who's grabbing it? Grab that shit. I want to see it. Nobody's grabbing it. There's blue on the backside. I think they're going to get it. Look at the UCS guy. Oh, he's going to get it on the backside. On theirs. Oh, and they're all out of position now. Oh, no. They had it perfectly set up. They just didn't grab it. And he is gone. Oh, he's running for his life. Like a fat man at a buffet, baby. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Call him John Wick. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, calling John Wick, paging John Wick. Please pick up the arc and run it for UCS. John Wick, you are being calmo and summoned. Run your ass off, my friend. Boom! Oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. We got red pulling it back. Oh, but they're getting absolutely nuked right now. Oh, I already called GSB losing. I called that a long. I they're they're a hot, they're there's some hot cheeks right there. You know what I'm saying? It's just power. Peak is up by 3k. Yes. Uh, after art capture P2L 12.2 to 11. Ooh, that's gonna be good. That's a juicy one. SX54 is up by 4k. Down by 4k. Oh, dude, we could have so many top 32 get eliminated this week. Oh, LIG, I already called. I called them winning that one a long time ago. I literally, before we even started the season, when when the, when, when the groups were shown, the divisions, I called them off the rip. I think a lot of us did.
But UCS is running this arc. Oh no. If if UCS capture this, guys, I'm telling you, this is gonna be a big hill to climb. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, I already know fire pit. Fire pit, right? Fire spit. I already know that. I'm telling you. Somebody should go and clip my statement that I said when I casted the last Smash Squad match that we did, the regular arc. Literally go and clip what I said. I literally told them what the problem was and they thought I was picking on them. And I'm not picking on them, but I'm picking at the strategy. And that is what I always said their weak point was, was arc. They were always able to come in late and bully people in the middle. And at some point you weren't gonna be able to do that. And that is what they're showing right now. Peak is very good. They came within, I believe 1.5K of beating one AVG last season. So, and this arc is hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. Whoo, this match might be over already. That's gonna put them up by 8K. We're gonna stay a little bit longer. We'll stay to the 20 minute mark because they may be able to pull it back for the next arc, okay? But if I see that it's getting way out of hand, then we're gonna go to a tight match. BLN has arc. BLN, I have full faith in BLN. BLN are very, very good. But SX54 are also very good. So that's why I think it's gonna be a lot of back and forth. It's gonna be a lot of back and forth. I am very surprised by squad. Um. But the other ones, I'm not. MTO a little bit. Um, but I'm not very surprised by a lot of things. There's certain matches. Squad has arc. Westy West with breakaway. Ooh, he's pulling it for him. Good. Good boy. Good man. Good man. Hell yeah. That's good. It should be a good match. They have second arc. Okay. Okay, okay. Division is BLN. BLN is top 32 in that one. But they are up against SX54 right now. So they're not only are they fighting in KVK, they're fighting in Osiris League right now. SN and 5K ahead. Yeah. SN is, I told y'all, they're my dark horse. I called it before the season even began. The SN is going to be one of my dark horses. I think 114S, SN, CB. I called CB too. Everyone thought I was sleeping on it. I called CB too. A lot of the dark horses already called. Before we got into top 32. This Nebu is going to lose. Or this, sorry, this Zeno is going to lose. Set T79 up by 1500 versus squad. Ooh, but squad's bringing that back. Squad's bringing that back. I'm telling you, you can't sleep on them. If one arc switches the game, you can't pull, you can't take your foot off. p 2 match, P2L 700 to 350, but arc looks against good for 114. Yeah, P2O's mid game is, I would say, good, but they're not great at it. What they're very good at is structures. Very good at structures. So that doesn't surprise me that much. I would expect P2OL to take one and lose a couple of arcs, but they still get one. They have one good, really good push, usually. Z415 up by 3K, FCN losing by 3K. I'm telling you. They're smashing mid. Yeah, usually PTO will have one really good mid game push out of probably three. But then they tend to dominate the outsides, which is the reason that they tend to win. Winning by 2K. Who are they, who are they playing, KM? All right, they're up. Oh man, look at the lead. I don't see this one coming back, guys. It's level. We got one more arc. We're going to stay here because there's still potential. Okay. There's still potential. Because I will tell you, you cannot sleep. If Snow are able to get this last arc and then dump on provisions, this becomes very interesting. This becomes very interesting. Okay. What I want to see, this is what I want to see. Ooh -wee. Oh, you see it? Do you see them? Let's see if they're coming in more thick. 
If you're snow, you should already be sending provisioners. You're going to need it. You're going to need it. Yeah, they're not sending as many as I would like. They need to start sending a couple additional marches to go provision. They're already. With, th with 26 minutes, they still need that. They're going to need it. That's going to be heavy. But there's still potential. Snow did it last season. I have faith. I have faith. Um, Smash Squad versus Peak is close. It's going to be close. I told you. What is your favorite rally combo for Ark? Um, not Attila Takeda. Honestly, I like... It, it depends on what, on what the situation is, to be honest with you. I, I like... I like archer rallies, but I hate them if you're only sending the rally. Because then at that point, you might as well send Attila Takeda because he's going to do better than your archer rally. Because if you only send archers, they're going to get swarmed down to high Jesus. If it, but if you have like a clean field, you catch them on rotation into mid. It's a Zeno as your captain and you full, you send a, a Ramses or you send a Nebu or one of those plus a swarm. You're gonna nuke Zeno you're gonna nuke Zenobia. So it's situational, but I tend to lean a little bit more towards the Archer Meadow right now. Um, I think infantry just takes so long. In KVK, I would like that, but in in Arc, I want something to hit hard or die hard. That's it. Because if your infantry march is, or rally is taking 10 minutes to take down a building, it's doing you a disservice. There you go. They should be rotating to mid here in a second. Oh, no. There's nobody here. This is chalked. Chalked. It's chalked. They, they needed to be here first. They needed to be here first. See, if you're UCS and you can time it and bring some marches down right here, you're golden. You're golden. Watch, watch this. 1v1. All these marches right here should be swarming that. that swarming that rally because this will dominate Zeno. Look at this. Watch this. Look at this. They need to be swarming already. Look, somebody made the call out. Eddie, start swarming this piece of shit. And it might be too late. It might be too late. Look at this. Look at this shit. Oh, no. I don't think they have another reinforcement. Mm, they might get lucky on this one. A salad in CC. Very interesting. Oh, that came, that guy came in clutch right here. Yep. There you go. That one at form right there. But do you see how what I'm saying by the timing? If you they if those marchers wouldn't have gone in, that would Zeno would have gotten nuked. Wouldn't it would have gotten nuked. I just think UCS is just just bashing the shit out of them in the middle. They're just bashing the shit out of them in the middle. Oh, the aggressor. Y'all, they're literally taking, they're taking my thing. They're the aggressor. That's what you want to see. Hold on popping the skills. Hold. Hold. If I was them, I wouldn't even pop skills. I wouldn't even pop them until they engage you. Here you go. Here it comes. Running into the blue wall of death. By to the death being popped by UCS. This is chalked. Both of them pop it. Oh man. And it is it is a laser fest in here, ladies and gentlemen. We got sparklers flying everywhere. Do a little sparkler dance. Dance ants in the pants. Dance dance. You know what I'm saying? Peak by 1.4. The next arc wins it for all three of the matches. We're gonna. If, if UCS grab this arc, I'm going to immediately move over to the next match. Because this would be essentially over. This would be over. Um, Panda, S Smash Squad, learn their lesson. They're coming early for the third arc. Hey, y'all, people can talk all the shit they want about me. But I literally told them what they need to do, what they need to fix. And if they don't listen, then that's fine. But you can't say that I'm picking on you when... They're clearly making the point for me on the side of peak. You know what I mean? Ram Nobu, Zeno Theo. Did I not say on Friday that UCS would crush in the middle? You did, Lambo. You did. You did. You did. You did. Switch the squad match. It's very tight. I, peak by 
Ooh, 1K. Squad coming back, baby. Squad is coming back. Well, let me let me see. Is somebody streaming? Is uh is Redline streaming that match? Because if he's streaming it, I won't cast that one. Because my boy, I'm not gonna try to take away his shit. Let me see. I don't know what everybody else is streaming right now. Um what is Chuni streaming? I don't know what Chuni's streaming. Uh I don't is nobody streaming? Dude, nobody's streaming. Low key. Low key, we're out here, boys. Nobody's streaming shit. By 2.2k. 2.2 is nothing. Pop to the death. Peak might win the middle again. Redline is playing. He isn't streaming. I've seen, but last season, Redline streamed. Oh, no. This is gone. Look at this. Oh, oh shit. UCS. Turning the heat up. Straight making me eat crow. We are about to go 0-2. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're about to eat crow for the second match in a row. Who chose... Let me see. Hova and I went with Snow and Lambo and Gecko went with UCS. Oh man, I'm looking sus potatoes out here this week. Ooh, literally all the matches were not that we didn't vote on were the ones that I picked right. <laughs> oh, this is GG's. There's no shot. We'll keep our eyes on this, but there is no shot, guys. This arc's gonna be worth 4,000 points. It will be at 32k to 18. I think this is chalked, guys. All right. We have two minutes. I'm letting y'all choose two minutes. There is only one match we're choosing. I want y'all to vote for the 83 people we have in here. 84 people that we have in here. We are going to one of two matches. We're either going to go to the Smash Squad versus T79 match. So put squad in chat if you want that one. Or put Smash Squad in the live chat right now you have two minutes to choose whoever has the highest votes is the match we are going to starting now starting now We got 84 people in here. Cast your vote because I don't want to hear people saying that we didn't go to the match y'all want. So if you want a particular match, you got to put your vote in. Put your vote in. Put your vote in. Oh my God. Y'all aren't going to make this easy, are y'all? Holy smokes. I should have done a poll. I should have just done a fucking poll. I guess we'll do that later on. I'll have to do that. There's straw poll that I should have just made and done it that way. I'm pretty confident that Smash Squad's winning this vote though. Oh, their squad. Let me see. We got one minute left, fam. Cast your vote. Cast your vote. Hold on. Let me... I'll find y'all some fighting real quick. That way we're at least looking at something. There you go. That way we're at least looking at something. Hmm. Yeah, Smash Squad took it. Smash Squad took it. Uh, They were in... I know... Yeah, there's so many Smash Squad here. P2L, 10K. I told you guys. It's just a matter of when they break out. Um, 14. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, schedule. Let's go 14. Come on. Click, click. Come on, fat finger. We're in it, baby. Ooh, hoo -hoo. We got peak up by a little over 2K. Blue has the arc. They are running it back. Westy West coming in clutch. Our boy Westy West, he's always in the streams too. Our boy Westy West running that shit back. Oh, peak, 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 peak. Where are they going? Where are they going? This arc is 1-1, so this arc will be 4,000 points. 
So this will put Smash Squad in the lead by almost 2K. But here's the question. Do they capture it? Do you capture it? Let's think about this. If they capture it immediately, there's potential for another arc. It won't have very much time. So I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Um, well, no, they would have enough time. Smash Squad capped arc. They're up by 2K. Hey, hey. And there you go. The stall is on. Red, get your ass over here. Stall, stall, stall. So if you are peak, you need to go into the neutralized game. You need to ramp up this point differential. There's Zeno. All right, here we go. Ark won't help much. Ark's going to put them in the lead by 2,000 points. It's going to help a lot. Trust me. This Ark is worth 4,000 points. They will be up by 2,000 points. And the points per minute is neutral. So that's even better. Now, if Peak would have a large differential in the points per minute, then the arc would be worth nothing. But them keeping it tied like this means that they're essentially earning on top of that. And then just they're not losing points per minute. Oh, if you're red, you're trying to stall. Yeah, I want to see red swarm this shrine. This could come to bite Smash Squad. If they're not careful, they need to be very careful on this. That's the play. If you're peak, you are stalling and you are focusing on the shrine and trying to take this down. I don't like this play. I think if you're doing this, you should go in an odd direction, like come over here. That way you're not super close to the structure because being super close to the structure is very dangerous. Oh, literally, bro. Look at the health bar, bro. You literally could sneeze on this dude and he would die. How is he alive? Dude, look. You could sneeze on him. Oh my God. Sneeze on him. Just blow a booger on him. He's going down. Oh shit, here it comes. Just blow a booger on him. He's going down. Westy West running for his life. Oh, just love tap him. Just give him a little, yeah, there we go. He blew a booger on him and made him go. Look, oh, Peek is grabbing it, yes. Rally cities and break. Yep, it's time. It's time to full send here. You want this to be super expensive? Look at the points. Look at the points. The provisions are coming in. The provisions are coming in. Oh, ho, ho. coming on in. Oh, the provisions are coming in, ladies and gentlemen. The trick. The question is: Is Smash Squad provisioning? That's going to be the question. How long does he have? They need to push forward about a minute on this arc that's gonna leave with about uh, what about 12 minutes the arc spawns so it will leave about a four minute window for you to capture the arc which is doable if you do not show up so you will need to at least invest into them i don't know if smash squad's necessarily going to do it i have a feeling they're just going to cap or they're going to hold on to it and then wait um so we'll see. We're going to see what they're going to do. There's two ways of taking this. They either insta-cap this and hope for another arc that they may need. That's the call. If they aren't provisioning, they might actually need to, to do another another uh, arc. But we're going to pay attention. We'll keep an eye on that blue. And here it comes. It's the structure game. They are up by 5,000 points. Oh, shit. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Up by 2K, T78, plus 300 points per minute. Uh, taking it to the city, smart. Yeah, I like the idea. I just don't like it when they're taking it to the cities and then there's the structure and they're like right here, taking it to the cities. I want them to take like a little weird route if they're gonna take it to the cities because you're playing with fire when you take it really close to the city. You know what I mean? There's potential for them to take this the structure then just jump right into it. That's what I, I always tell people to be careful on. Uh, Panda, I mentioned because it was over because this hence should watch squad rally. This isn't over, guys. This isn't over. Must be a good match. All I hear is yelling. Yeah. Leading by 1.2. That one's not out of the woodwork. Next arc. Mrs. Remembers the pie on the face. Depends on it. Yeah. 
Snow winning or not? No, Snow was losing by 12,000 points, Sultan. So we left. We came to a more competitive match. They were losing by 12,000 points. UCS captured three arcs pretty handedly. Um, so I, I wasn't assuming that one was coming back. Next arc determines 401 squad game. They're holding the arc. So they're holding this arc. All right. So we know the play now. The question is, are they going to be able to bring this back? Are they going to be able to bring this back? Smash Squad needs to start neutralizing some structures. But they do have the points per minute lead, which if they are able to keep that for the next 10 minutes, it, it's going to be the decider right there. But we need to pay attention. Also, let's go look real quick and see if we have provisions on the side of Smash Squad. That's what I want to see. I see one way the hell out here. Okay, I got provision, provision. The call should be made. Provision, provision, provision. Everybody should be sending at least one march. There's five right there. Let's see on this side. This guy's going way out in the Amazon. There's another. There you go. They're sending. They're sending. Westy West, even provisioning. You'd love to see it. Yeah. A call has been made. Everybody send. But let's go look on the side of Peak. You should see the same thing happening. Yes. Yeah, who thought provisions were going to be a joke? Low key, that's what's going to win this match right here. Look at the points. They're coming in. They're only up by a less than four, a little less than 4,000 points. And they still have that arc. Remember, the arc is worth 4,000 points. So that deficit is cut. So look, look at the provisions. Oh, yeah, baby. So many provisions. Hoo wee! Battle of the provisions. Let's hope they had their gather gear on. Low key. Oh man, this is gonna be juicy. It's gonna be a photo finish. Look at the score. Oh no. No. I don't want a pie. I don't want a pie. I don't want it. Peak are constantly provisioning no last minute mega point income though. Yeah, it's it's gonna be one of those things. They're constantly doing it. Oh my god. If you're if you're peak, you have to neutralize structures. I don't care. Full send. Full send with this bitch. There you go. There you go. And if you're a Smash Squad, you should be insta swarming the shit out of this rally. If especially with these half-dead marches, I would be swarming the rally. Get it as low as possible before it even gets to the structure. They should all be targeting this rally right here. Forget the open field. If you're going to kill off your marches, you need to nuke the rally first. Especially because it's archers. No pie. No pie. No. Oh, man. They just let it flow by. Uh, oh, okay. Well, they had backup marches. Points per minute in favor of peak. But Smash Squad is up by 200 score. Bro. No. No way. No way. No shot. Bro, we should have gone to the other one. What the fuck? God damn it, man. Low key. Our pie, our pie, our pie. <laughs> Squad is up by 700 points. Oh. No. Squad has always been really good in mid, though. They've always been really good. Oh, yeah. See, where were these marches before? Look at Tickle Fist. Warrior Fatality. Tickle Fist coming in thick. Full sending. Cowboy up. All these names we've seen. Swarm that shit. Yeah, buddy. Reinforce it. Reinforce. Oh, Westy West. Look at Trajan. Cowboy up. Oh, man. Heaven's Grace getting popped. Ooh, wait. 100 points is the lead. Oh, no. Oh, five minutes to determine our fate, ladies and gentlemen. Are we taking a pie to the face? Are we taking a pie to the face or not?
they got arc squad put some honey to it hell no dude low-key low-key salty right here they are down oh my god by 70 points oh 70 points come on lower something neutralize it this is some shitty casting right here but i am not excited for a pie to the face low-key what the f is going on oh lord jesus take the wheel oh no the points the points no no bro look at all these marches they're just playing super defensive now smart play because they do not need to overextend they have to force peak in order to take the structures to take that points per minute oh no the only thing that's gonna save them and peak bringing their provisions in yes bring them bring them and they took back the structure okay 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 how much longer a minute and a half lord jesus take the wheel they didn't garrison dude low key what's going on they're throwing here they're throwing here oh no low key they're throwing they're throwing here come the provisions here come some holy shit that guy, that that chick is fast Ooh, okay okay up by 200 up by 200 yes yes come on drop a cool million points please thank you low key 500 oh man okay two 300 yes yes i like i like what i'm seeing i like okay okay i'm getting a little nervous now a little nervous now low key i peed myself a little bit uh all right all right we got provisions yes okay oh coming in okay yeah i can't pronounce your name but i like it one minute sweet jesus oh 300 points oh. we're getting nervous we're getting nervous this is close good game yes this is a phenomenal game make sure y'all smash a like we got 100 people in here what the shit and we only got 30 likes i'm the only one streaming this i expect the likes fam i'm just kidding i would appreciate them i will peak win cyrus last osiris league they got avg last few seconds yeah they narrowly lost to one avg come in come in come in squad down by 100 points oh no three minutes left oh they're up by 300 dude my are your cheeks clinched because mine are what the hell oh my god they need they need this to tick over a minute and a half Ugh. this is one of those structures they need it to tick because that extra minute is may help it may be the decider right here it doesn't seem like a lot of points but i'm telling you that one minute tick right there for this structure could be a big deal and now i, I think they understand they they need to neutralize like i've been saying they just need to full send forward the obelisk has been lost okay a minute 40 they should be okay with that they should be okay with that smash squad holding oh shit where's the structure there it is smash squad holding peak one minute they should be full sending over here don't open field tickle fist that's what he wants don't give it to him yes you should be full sending forward that's all it comes down to baby ladies and gentlemen we are coming down the stretch peak winning by 500 points and we still have provisions they're gonna start making their way keep your eyes on the score oh my they're up by 20 points oh lord they took the lead oh man it's coming down two minutes the provisions no no all the provisions should start be making their way in two minutes left this is where it comes down holy shit 20 points oh my god go peak no don't do it to him 
Yes. Yes. 23 seconds. Yes. Bring him in. Come, 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 come. They are down by 100 points. Lord, Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. Oh, please be something. If it's like 20 score, I'm about to be, I'm about to get so salty. Please be something decent. Please be something decent. It wasn't decent. What the fuck? Oh, no. A minute 26. Did they capture this? They did. Okay. So this one extra point per minute. 150 points. 150 points. That's what they're going to get from that structure now. Because now look at the score. They are up. They were down by 150 per minute. Provisions, provisions, provisions. One minute left. We have everybody and their mother coming in. Oh, no. 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 Oh. They're down by a thousand. Oh, my God. Bro, no shot. Son of a bitch. <gasps> they brought it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, they're bringing in theirs too. Come on. Oh, dude, this guy's not going to make it. Look, 26 seconds. He, he, oh, no. Just jump in a city, bro. Just jump in any city. It doesn't matter. Jump in any of them. Oh, lols in chat. They don't know. Just jump in a city, Lohar. It doesn't have to be yours. Oh, just jump in. Oh, no. Oh. Ah. Ah. All right, we can do it. Let me, we'll do it this stream. Give me a second. See if you can get groggy in here. I'll do it for groggy. Give me a second. I gotta get off the chair and all that because the last time the wifey did it, it got all over the fucking place. So give me a second. Give me a second. Y'all can summon, summon groggy. Just let him know. I'll be right back. Low key salty. Low key salty.
Let me let me lay let me lay my blanket of destiny here. Did somebody summon Groggy? Is Groggy here? Make sure Groggy is online. Get your recording devices. Westy, congrats. Yeah. What's up, Westy? What's going on, brother? I gotta, I literally, last time we did this, I didn't put shit on the floor and it got all over the fucking floor. So now I got smart. I got smart. That'll be my burial, my burial blanket. Pie him, smiley face. Hey, thank you for the... Oh, I don't even know what currency is. Thank y'all so much. Thank you for the for the super chat, my friend. Pie him? Oh shit. Is is uh Groggy here? I hope Grog is here. Super chat more. Or, I don't know. Or, I know. <laughs> it's a whole, oh, 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 there oh. It is. What the? Oh. That looks like runny diarrhea, bro. No shot. No shot. That looks like runny ass diarrhea, dude. If he isn't here, bro, I'll be. Somebody better get him on here. All right, we're gonna do this in two minutes. We're gonna pie the shit out of me. Well, I'm trying to give him at least enough time to try to get on. If he doesn't get on here, then right. open mouth, bro. Ew. Dude, oh, there's Groggy. All right, Groggy's here. Nickel Fist, do it with a ten dollar. All right, all right, all right. Hold on. I'll say it. I'll say it. I have to say it before I have to pie in my face. GG Smash Squad. I still love all y'all. All right. Sus potatoes. All right. Not excited for that. Do E E H. Hello. I can't look. I can't look. This gonna be real. I can't see shit. I just see a bunch of blurs everywhere. And I see yellows and I can't read off the super. No, you already did. Okay, okay. Gotta build, build the anticipation <laughs> for the people. He's like, huh? The people of the internet. The waiting. Hey. Bro, no shot. Okay. Next one? Oh, you're good. Respect Bulba, <laughs> you are a man of your word. This is a good one, this is stuck. Yeah, that's 
Fantastic! <laughs> Get you a cell. I, I have a good Mrs. Somewhere. Bro, no, no, and it missed the fucking towel. Oh god. Oh man, you enough. left the fucking thing in my head again. Yeah. Oh, that flop. Y'all couldn't hear that flop. <laughs> Wait, no, I have, I have the black one. Where, it's right here. No, oh, I need a big fucking towel. Oh my god, it's falling on my face. Bro, no shot. I would love salt. On fucking... your face. Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, fuck, it's everywhere. Oh. Thank you, bro. Oh, yeah. Got the cum jizzled on my arm. Uh, ugh, I turned and it touched my neck. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh! It looks like... It looks like a look at how slick back. It, 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 slick it back. looks like a it looks like a squad of pigeons took a it looks, it's looking back. It looks like a squad of pigeons took a <laughs> took took a dump took a dump on my shoulder. Something about Mary. Oh yeah, let's do it. Y'all ready for it, fam? Y'all ready? Like something about Mary? If you're not if you're not old enough, you won't know. Let's see. My hair is super long, so it should work. Oh, it works! Look at that. Something about Mary. Look at that dude. Well, it's not my fault. You got hyper, got hyper aggressive with the fucking plate. I can't read chat, fam. I'll get on it in a minute. Yeah, fuck that. Whatever. Oh. Roll up and chat. Bro, I got shit on my neck. I'm all fucked up right now. Give me a second. Uh, Tickle Fist, do it. 114W healed 23 million. That doesn't surprise me. Groggy is here. Chisco, gotta respect a man of his word. I am. I'm a man of my word. Bro. Wait, hold on. Let me... I think you, you already got the check mark, so I'm not super worried, but I'll add you to the... There you go. I added you on the mods, but... That way there's no confusion because we had people coming in. But I didn't know about the check mark. <sighs> Let's see. Change the screen. Yeah. Yeah, congrats on the win, bud. That was really tight. Respect. Yeah, they're groggy. <laughs> I told y'all. I appreciate the, the the donos and the super chats, my friends. Respect. Yes, yes. LOL. Laugh my ass off. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be plenty of memes. Plenty of memes on that one. Headshot. Fatality. Yes. Good job. Yeah, y'all did a phenomenal job on the match. The provisionings is what I was very surprised by it. So that was good. That was a good call on that one. That's why we love ROK community. Yeah, that was funny. Oh, man. Can you make me a mod? Nah. <laughs> Not yet. Gotta earn that shit, baby. Gotta earn it. Most of the mods have been here since I had one viewer. That's the only reason, that's one of the things. I always preach about loyalty. So if people are active and do stuff like that, then I give mods. The only reason I gave, I give content creator, oh my God, my hair. I give content creators is because there's people making fake accounts. So I don't know, like there was a Baba account, a Chisco, a Drago, there was a bunch of fake accounts. So I'm doing it for the content creators. When is the next pie? Uh, if we get, Chingon, then we do the wheel. That's probably the next pie. If we do, when we get those, we do like the wheel spin. And if it lands on pie, then we do a pie. That was a lot, dude. That was sus. You're the one that donoed. You said do more and she put more. <laughs> yeah, if you become a Chingon member, there's, I have like a fun wheel that we do. And on the wheel, there's inflatable man dance. There is a twerk session, pie. And we were supposed to do like a, a hot challenge, like a one bite type challenge. And then those are the ones that are on the wheel. But those are for the Chingon members. Those are the $10 YouTube YouTube members. Oh. I get it. Next Smash Squad win. Shit. No, that this division's over. That was the division for the division right there. 
I have other side bets on Smash Squad though. But those were with Thor and Mad. Mrs. Mrs. Respect. Yeah, got fucked up. <laughs> I appreciate y'all for hanging out though, fam. Thank you again for all the likes and all that kind of stuff. I think I'm going to end up calling a stream because now I got to clean my whole stream room. Um, we're going to call it. We are going to be streaming and casting at 19 UTC. It will be CB versus NCB at 19 UTC. So, oh my God, look at my hair. Sweet Jesus. Dude, something about Mary. Dude, this Lolan chat. Look how high that is, bro. Like the size of my forehead. Dude, low key right there. All right, fam. But I do appreciate y'all. Thank you again. Thanks, Chisco. GG's to Smash Squad on taking that win. I was... I peed a little. I'm not going to lie. My, my booty cheeks puckered up for y'all. You could end your stream, but FYI, I just did a community post linking to it. God damn it, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, the missus? I don't know. Let me see what the missus is going to do, because I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. I also don't know if I want to look like absolute dog doo-doo when everybody comes. <laughs> but let me see. Let me Give me one minute, fam. I'm going to go check on the wife, see what we're going to do. Bro, Loki. I don't even want to show y'all. I don't even want to show y'all the. After cleanup stream inbound. All right. I guess we'll stay on because Chisco did it. So I didn't know that. I'll stay on though. Bro, Loki. Do it. I'm a... We should take a picture of this crap because I'm going to post it on our Discord. It literally looks like. Like elephant just ran ham. Hold on. Dude, why do I look so sus? Give me a second, fam. I'll post it in the Discord here in a hot second. Low key. That way, that way Redline can go and flame me on his stream again. Oh, this is itchy AF. There we go. It's perfect. See, now you're covering up all the mess. <laughs> I need my wartime helmet. All right, we'll just, let's just take that. Here we go. But it didn't get on my chair. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, oh man, shit got on my foot. Nope, 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 nope. Bro, okay, look at this loop. Did y'all see? She had it this high. Where did it all go? And this is why I don't eat whipped cream anymore. Close. All right. Well, dude, it's on my iPad. Dude, this is like a glitter bomb. For those of y'all who've never seen a glitter bomb, like where it just ends up everywhere in like weird crevices that you just don't know about. Dude, it's everywhere. All right, all right, all right. My headset's gonna be all messed up too. It's taller than my headset, bro. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's go back to the other screen real quick. Let me see. I appreciate it, Chisco. Thank you so much. Let's let's hang out. I know y'all are going back to fighting. So let me see. Hello, Mrs. Bulba. Thank you. Of course, bud. Of course. Next time a glitter pie, hell, dude, we'd be cleaning this room up for years, for years if this was a glitter bomb. No shot. Groggy at 19, we're going to do CB. The community voted, and I think it was CB versus, dude, my hair, CB versus NCB. It's the one that they voted on. I think it was between that one and, let me see, 412A. And then K372 was those were the two. And I know I have a lot of 307 people in my Discord, so I already knew CB was going to win that one. The one I wasn't sure about was the one that we casted, which was UCS, or it was going to be between that or Smash Squad. And I thought because of the bet, believe it or not, I thought because of the bet they were going to vote Smash Squad, but everybody won a UCS. But we crossed over, I think, at like the 20 minute mark with y'all left or 19 minutes somewhere around there and we caught the tail end of it because UCS just absolutely destroyed snow it wasn't even like 
Wasn't even close. Wasn't even close. All right. We didn't even finish the tell of the tape. So, all right, let's finish the tell of the tape. Let's see what all the points were. Most valuable player, Sterling. That is not surprising. He's a very, very good fighter. Uh, all right, tell of the tape. Oh, man, it's off. Ugh. All right, I just can't touch my beard. All right, fair enough. Uh, Smash Squad, 44.4K points to peak 40K. 40.5K. Uh, arcs, two to one. But that last one was the big one. And I'm telling you, that was the big one. They snuck that thing out so fast. Our boy Westy West out here running with like, literally you could have blown a booger on him and he would have died. And he ran that so far with that one march. Dude, that was clutch right there. So we watched him do that one. And that was funny as shit. Occupation score, like we said, I, I knew that Peak and Smash Squad would go head to head on that aspect. The provisions are the one that surprised me. Both teams with 7K. That is phenomenal. Um, the one upside, and I've always said this, and I, you know, they made me eat my words. Typically, from the matches that I've casted with Smash Squad, they typically come in late and are always fighting uphill. But when we were on UCS, people were telling me that they came in earlier and were there first. That it doesn't seem like a big deal, but it makes a massive deal when you're first. So you're always be, by being first, you're forcing the, the enemy team to have to push all the way through your shit in order to even get anywhere near your art carrier. And that's ultimately if you have skills, you have all that kind of stuff. It makes it for an uphill fight. So. I like that they made that adaptation. I also like what I saw on the third arc when they ran it, where they just full send. You know, they, they march as a unit. You almost saw it as kind of like their KVK, where they're just like, all right, I can hear it in the comms right now. All right, everybody, we're going. Doesn't matter. We're all going. And they all just full send in there, pop their shit. Westy West pokes out through the back. And it, it's, it's the way you got it. So... You got it. You got it. You got to applaud them for it. So I appreciate that. And I like the fact that I saw the aggressive part in the middle. That is what I'm looking for. That is what I'm looking for for Smash Squad is can they do that consistently? And can they do that on multiple fronts? So mixing it up, maybe they do next time they come aggressive through the front. And as the team's backing up, they're hitting them from the sides or there's different ways of incorporating that. That way you start varying it and people don't read on your, okay, they're going to ball up and just push and that's it. That way you just give them a little a little extra or send a couple of rallies. You, we saw it all day long. They send a couple of rallies up the middle, but never broke them. I would like to see them clash and then have the rallies break and then collapse down on them. I think there's a lot of potential for a lot of strategies and stuff like that. So we're gonna keep our eyes on it. Did you miss something, Jerry? Yeah, you missed it, bro. Uh, any upsets, we'll check those out. We're gonna check those out in a hot second. I am watching it for sure. <clears throat> Let me see, where's the pie to the face? We already did it, Anthony respect got back go yeah go back maybe like three minutes and you'll see it uh the pie is in one hour 34 minutes there you go extra there i will did squad win let's go check it out uh tell the tape tell it 29 30 teleports the heels i suspect these are going to get bigger and bigger as kvk goes along but that's not surprising to me at all. All right, let's go check out some of the stuff real quick. Uh, if I look like a sus potato, it's because I am a sus potato. So sorry. All right, let's go look at these division. Oh, we skipped division one. Let's go look at some of these. Uh, squad wins. Lit one. I'm not surprised by the lit. <laughs> Fun games today. Yeah, today this week was the week. I think these were where most of the divisions were decided. Um. So yeah, that's what that's what you're looking for. All right, 114k, not not surprised. Dominated theirs. Let's go look. I'm I know pretty much all of the top 32. So let's see. 93T is going to be a very good match against JWM. I think JWM are a phenomenal team. Uh, 93T consistently make divisional championships every single season, and they are always in a bad group. If you put them in the OUO group. If you put them in some of these other groups, they would easily make it out into top 32. But they always get stuck with JWM, with H they always get stuck with really big groups. But they are a very good team. 
uh c9n winning so that's the top 32 that came out wln wln losing um let me see hmm. mto losing oh they lost pretty handedly too ln 93 i think they're the top are they the top who's who's the top in this division ln 93 okay See, I don't even know who they are. Wait a second. 1393? No say, but that seems pretty low for a top 32 to be 3.3. But hey, dude, narrowly winning. Oh, man. That was close. That was close. I want to ask 2000 over... 2000 over which kingdom should migrate? Oh, I don't know. I'm not very knowledgeable on anything probably over 1900, to be honest with you. And the only the only ones that I really, really know are 1846, that being super high because I casted some of their arcs and stuff, but I don't know very many that are above, knowledgeably, probably over 1650. After that, it's sporadic. It's a couple of kingdoms here and there, but not very many. All right, let me see yes there we go let's go boys yes there we go number one top 32 getting knocked out by the legend ronnie himself my friend z415 knocking out n3x your top 32 team 3.3 3.4 coming in thick they were your top 32 team they lost a lot of power guys they lost a lot of power and ronnie came out in force as we predicted very good kingdom just one seed three nice that's awesome welcome to all you beautiful people here y'all are crushing the light game i love to see it thank y'all for all the new people hopping on the stream all right squad holy smokes Whoo! if you ain't if you didn't pucker up watching that i wish i could have casted both because we had to make a decision between both but god dang look at that Oof. what is that 500 400 points Ooh, and they were down by what was it somebody told me at one point they were down by like four thousand points with like 19 minutes left and they brought it all the way back all the way back all the way up gsb getting their booty cheeks clapped oh no that was intense. Look at Gecko. Yeah, he buck <laughs> He puckered up a little bit on that one. Oh, here, let me let me make Gecko. I need to make I'm adding just the content creators that way I can avoid all the all the crap. Uh, dude, you I knew Gecko. Gecko was Oh man, I can imagine the comms right now. Ooh, that was probably lit. That was probably lit. Yeah, the only times we do pies is if I make a bet. I'm a man of my word. It sucks, but I'll do it. And then two, if we get a Chingon member, which is the second tier, then we do a Chingon wheel that includes uh, the pie. It includes either a twerk session, inflatable man dance, or a one bite challenge. And the one bite challenge is like, I think we have like a big ass, like those ballpark pickles. And then I have to take the biggest bite I can possibly take. So that's for the $10, the Chingon member. So that's the way we get pies. LIG handing them. And we called it. We'll bring up our top 32 here in a hot second. Let me see. Give me one second. <laughs> Gecko out here rubbing it in, in the chat. He goes, uh, or in Discord, he goes, that pie good, huh? <laughs> and then he goes with snow winning too. God dang, look at me 0-2 this week. Getting absolutely flamed. I love it. I love it. Bro, no shot. Look at this. I'm already getting flamed in Discord. Dang. Damn. All right. The 307 Discord, I'm getting flamed too. That's love it. I love it. All right. So LIG, no surprise. We called them. Um. Oh, they're playing at 19 UTC. So there you go. 412A is going to be your top 32 in that one. SNC won. Oh my God. They won. Narrowly winning. But it's all right. I had CB winning this division anyways. 
But I am very surprised. I thought WOS would sneak this one out. Let me see. We might go check out. We might go check out. Uh, let me see. 27. We're going to make our ways. Where's the pie? It is in the. Uh, I'll have somebody tag the time because we already did it. Pie was a bit ago. That was intense. Rewind stream about 18 minutes. There you go. Lambo. Lambo's on it. Is my Discord PM me? PM me? Just hop on our Discord, bud. Here, click on this link. I'll post it in here. I'll post it in here. Just hop on our Discord. There you go. One fourteen W healed twenty three million against PTO. Well, that doesn't surprise me. We've already seen teams that healed thirty million troops. I've already seen it twice this season, and they were not T ones, and they healed thirty million troops. We've seen it twice already. Oh, dude, Redline came in too. Did you change your underwear? I changed mine. Joke's on you, Redline. We didn't wear any. Oh, no, no, no. low key. <laughs> Chingon wheel. Yeah, everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. It's extra soft. Oh, bro. Dude, did you see that? She like squirted that. It, it, oh, dude, I don't even want to think about it. Dude, now I look like, look, Redline. I look like some like something about Mary. Look at this. Look at this. Dude. Talk about peak performance. Bro, no shot, dude. Something about Mary rolling in the, in the stream. So SNC1 survives to live another day. Oh, you oh, top 32 getting knocked out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Three seventy four, just doing the deeds again. IKM is gonna be sneaky. IKM, we're in top thirty two last season. You had SFS as well, which is what K three seventy four are. Um, this one's gonna be fun. I think this one's gonna be a lot better than people think. I still think three seventy four are gonna win by probably like ten k, but I don't think it's gonna be off the front, off the jump. Rip snow, yeah, dude, that was tough. That was tough to watch. Alfalfa. <laughs> She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me not. <laughs> Min seems it was a nice match. Had to play myself in Anubis. Yeah, it was a very good one. You'll see at the very beginning. There was some stuff like UCS just crushed in the middle. And I mean, they straight gave them, you know, they gave them the business. You know, the biz nasty. They gave it to him in the middle, and it was bad. Like, it wasn't even close in the middle. Um, we'll check out what the final score was here in a hot second. I think it should be right here. Yep. Whew, 14,000. That's even with provisions. That's with their... But look how much power they... Oh, man. UCS at 5.2 billion power. That would have put them, I believe, number one if they would have registered with that. So they leveled up a ton of troops and trained a ton of troops. I will watch it back. Division three. Yeah, we went over it. Two alliances. That's awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. TMD getting knocked out as well. Oh, another top 32. Another top 32. Another one bites the dust. They might not have even shown up. It looks like they didn't show up. So... By top 32. Good night. Good night, sweetheart. Boom, boom. <sighs> Let's not relive this, okay? <laughs> Who is I am? Bro, low key. Low key salty. Low key salty. I'm out here like collect counting my pennies and shit. They're like, oh, Smash Squad down by 3K. I'm like, sign me up. We're Let's go. And then you literally see, y'all know how when you see like the train wreck come in and you just can't fucking like look away. It's a fucking train wreck. You saw the provisions, you're just like, yes, 3K. And then you see the arc and then Westy West running the arc with like literally a booger's worth of health. Just running and running and running. And then you see your dreams. You see your dreams just fucking disappearing. They're just vanishing into the, into the sphere. And then he finally captures it and they're still losing. And then you start seeing the provisions come in. And then you're you're you feel the lights going out. You feel the tears pouring down like Pepe the Frog. 
you're with your umbrella it's raining outside and then you just get dunked on at the end for 1k points and then you just you just cry 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 dude i was so salty it was like 1k and then all their provisions came in with 30 seconds left 4,000 points i'm like Ugh. i was already getting ready for the pie for everything dude it was so salt i'm so salty right now and i just ate a bunch of whipped cream and i'm salty as hell bro that one that one got out of hand real quick that one got out of hand real quick but respect to smash squad they made me literally they made me take a pie to the face you know what i'm saying they got two subs in uh <laughs> Anyone watch us going against 1860 DN1? I heard good things about DN1, though. But I didn't watch it. I'm watching your stock crash in front of your eyes. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. We didn't have stock in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Low-key, we're working our way out of the grave. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, let me see. 114S. Guys, I'm telling you, don't sleep on them. Don't sleep on them. This team... I've already called. I called it since the beginning of the league. I will be one of the sleepers. They are going to knock some people out. I, this would be the equivalent of like when people are talking about teams from last season that you did not want to get top 32 groups with. This team, number one on my list that you do not want out of the sleepers. I'm not talking your big boys or anything. Out of the what I classify as a sleeper, this is the team you do not want. Period. And so you do not want. They instantly make a group, a, t a group of death instantly. They have a ton of old uh, JWM guys that were the SEAL Team 6, Hulk. All those guys are all in here. Super aggressive. So take BBTH with a little bit more organization on top of that. And that is what they're looking like. So this is going to be a scary group right here. So keep your eyes on them. Let me see. He was screaming when... When Peak lost in provisions, dude, sleeper. Hmm. Tell me how many people you got that have 114S winning and getting into top 16. I'm saying when I mean sleeper, I mean a team that people don't think. Hmm. I wouldn't say that. 114S doesn't have the track record to back that. One fourteen S doesn't have the track record to back that. I think they're a very scary option, but I wouldn't say they don't have the track record. What's going on, Hotelli? Welcome, buddy. All right, TR, 1341, no surprise there. TR are very, very good as well. Let's see. People don't have 114S as a top 16. I, not that I'm hearing from. Not that I'm hearing from. They have them in top 32 easy. But top 16 is a whole other animal. Let me see. 114, C9, 619. I'm trying to look at our picks that we did for the Bull Battalion show and see how we're looking on top 32 winners. Oh, we all ate Crow in Division 4. We all had MTO and they all lost. Lol. I'll show that graphic here in a hot second. Let me see. <laughs> What's going on, Horseplay? Dude, you had me nervous there for a hot second, buddy. JST guys i'm telling you like this is one of those teams a lot of people are going to say the same thing 4.5 is a sleeper if i asked everybody at the beginning of the season do you have jst making top 16 how many do you think would say yes a lot of people didn't know about them these are predictions that i've made since the beginning since the beginning of arc not right now i've made them since the beginning before they were 4.5 they weren't 4.5 when they registered let me see. Our opponent healed 24 million T5. Lord almighty. KSS lose. Bro, I lost a lot. I lost a lot on this one. I think some of the divisions we got completely wrong. But we'll check those out here in a hot second. We got, what, a little bit longer? And then we have our next match at 19 UTC. All right, let me see. FN. Let's see. They were your top 32. OV plane there you go ov winning boom boom you see txik winning we all had them as well let me see any other surprises 1v lv that one 
I thought it was going to be a lot better, a lot closer, and it wasn't. But 1v did a ton in the mid, too. They just dominated. They crushed. They crushed in the mid game. It was like a sweeper truck. Just KSS, Lord Almighty, GX96. I think we all had them. Division is this 23. Oh, bro. I chose KSS, GX96. I didn't choose them. Lul, Lul in chat. So that made me eat crow there. Just so y'all know, fam, we are going to be doing season two of the Bulba of the Bulba Tongue of the Madness Tournament. If you don't know what that is, I will show y'all and talk about it here in a little bit. It's basically if you're used to sports stuff, and if you've ever heard of like perfect bracket challenges, stuff like that, that is what we do. That is what we do. We do one for top 32. We do one for top 16. So I will work on those, and I'm gonna release those as soon as. I'm able to, we get the division winners. I'll plug them in when we get groups. And then you'll have about a week to submit your perfect bracket. And then I lock them. And then we go through everything and whoever has the best bracket or a perfect bracket will win prizes. That's just how we do it. So that's a, a Discord community exclusive. So if you're on, you wanna be a part of it, come hang out. Come hang out. We got a plenty, we got a ton of cool people on there, including Groggy, even though everyone knows, thinks I hate. Smash Squad and I don't. Let me see. Was a close one at the beginning? Yeah, everybody told me. JST is a great Osiris League team. They were top last Osiris League. Of course, they make top 16. The only rebuttal that a lot of people have is every single time Anubis teams have come in to Horus for the first season, they always get blasted. But I will say the fact that the way they split teams definitely benefited. Definitely benefited. And some of the big boy teams left or United Forces did stuff like that. Rays left. There's a bunch that left. So, you know, I, I think that's the thing. Like last season, you know, uh, 411 was probably the only one out of that entire group that impressed me. 411 or 411S made it to top 16 as well. Um, but yeah, the others, the others, the, you know, they didn't even make it out of, out of division. FN, NCB, all the other crews that made it into top, I think it was top six. The only ones that made it were the 411 ones. That's it. Outside of them, they got slapped. Um, let me see. I am a Boba fan. Hey, welcome. I like it, Groggy. Yeah, brother. If, you, if that's something you want, like mods and stuff like that, just do what you're doing, brother. Just be here. And that's how I, I like rewarding loyalty. That's the one thing I do. I reward loyalty for it. Uh, I wonder where Rose, where is Rose? Rose, some of their team went and united with TR. So TR and Rose, TR and Rose have like a blend. I don't think they took a lot of players. I think they have like six, I think is what somebody told me, six or seven uh, Rose players. All right, SN giving them the deed. We're doubling them up on points. That's not surprise. I had them winning this division as well. There you go. Top 32 winning here. I'm not going to give a super deep because we do a breakdown show early in the week. SX54 knocking out BLN. Yo, low key. This, the smack talk. I'm telling you, if you were in an LKC before, you definitely do not want to go now. I promise you that. It's about to get nutty in that in that Lost Kingdom. I'm telling you, right now, it's about to get nutty. I think we ate Crow on that one too. Yeah, Lambo was the only one that got that one. 166. Low key. Sad. The sadness falls for TN. The sadness falls for TN. Oh man. Poor TN. Dude, they had a rough top top 32 last season with a really hard group. And then they'd narrowly, narrowly lose. Damn, that, that is a tough pill to swallow right there. All right, 108, handy that business. Let me see. 1228 with two teams in the divisional finals. Not bad for a KVK Focus Kingdom. 1228, yeah. I used to play in 1230 a while back. I was there for KVK 1 when we allied with 1228. That was actually the first time I ever talked with Shinshi. Didn't even know, didn't even know. But that was the first time I had ever talked to Shinshi. 
when he was in 1228 for KVK1. Uh, back when I was with Pure Leaf and Storm and all those guys and gals that then moved on afterwards, I think they moved to 166 or 1166. Uh, big boy teams that left and are not big boy teams running for the competition. Chicken Nuggets. Well, at least 375 can focus on KVK now. And all their teams are eliminated from Osiris League. I ain't worried about it, guys. I ain't worried about it. They're good sports. 375 are good people. So I never talk anything about them. Uh, did squad win? Yes, they won. They won uh, by under 1K, I think. I forgot the exact number. Yeah, yeah. Lambo picked. Lambo got him. Lambo was the only one that got it. PR2. Let me see. DJ Dolomite in 12. Yeah. DJ, I talk with him all the time. I talk with him on an in game. DJ was there as well. I believe he came mid KVK though. He wasn't there the whole time. KVK won. He was in, uh, I believe he was in 1227 and then migrated over to 1228. If I remember correctly. SX or TR? Um, dude, that one's a tough one. Um, oh. Which one did Lambo choose? Lambo chose SX to win the division for, for his division to, to knock out BLN. TR2 going further than 375 uh, is up with these teams that score less than 10K points in the division semifinal. I don't know, dude. They just don't show up or KVK maybe. Going to top 32. Yeah, I think all of us chose TR. I think SX was the one that we were divided on. Where is HKL there in the Shadow Realm? Rip, rest in peace. Uh, doo -doo -doo. My ass still hurts from KVK against 1254. <laughs> Disappeared. HKL, yeah, they migrated. I think it was in like the 1500s, somewhere right there. I think they're in the 1500s. But a lot of players went to other teams. A lot of players went to other teams. So it's not the whole HKL team. Had to go for a bit. Any surprises from the big team so far? Yeah, Lawrence, there was, I think, like four top 32 thus far that got eliminated, I believe. Four or five? Oh, this was the one that I thought would be possibly another surprise. I would be excited to see. I bet you it came down to the arcs on this one. I bet you it came down to the arcs on that one. All right, let's see. Did 1AVG uh, let him slide in the DMs? Nope. No love, no glove, no love in Division 30. BG coming in hot. BG and LIIT. That's going to be a really good match. A very sneaky one. I like it. You love to see it. You love to see it. An FCN bite the dust. There's a top 32. Hasta la vista, baby. And guess what, fam? I should have listened to my heart and I didn't. I literally on that show when we were picking winners, I talked about Go GT and did not pick Go GT. But my pick is still in it. Oh! I picked K6V. I picked K6V. Nobody, nobody's laughing now. Mm hmm. These were the two I was talking about. Everybody else chose FCN. Let me show you all the graphic of our top 32. That way people can meme it and laugh at us. Give me one second. Let me bring this over. All right, one second, fam. Go big screen bottom. There you go. I'll, I'll hide the cams here in a hot second. That way you can see Hovas. Uh, cam, cam, cam. Let's hide you. Oh. And a box overlay. There you go. There are top 32 that we chose. Y'all can screenshot it, do whatever you want. We're not going to completely talk over everything. Um, there were some differences and stuff like that. Um, look at Hova out here choosing 619. Which division? Division 2? Um, C9N, WLN, so on and so forth. So we, we got some sus potatoes over here. We did choose a lot of them correctly. There are some that we didn't choose, which is cool. We love to see it. It's kind of all over the board. We're going to keep tally of these and we'll see who's the biggest sus potato in, of them all. So Y'all can feel free to screenshot that bad boy. 
All right, there we go. Thank y'all. All right. The other thing I'm gonna show y'all is this. I will catch up in chat in one hot second, fam. All right. Let me show y'all this. All right, give me one second. Um, Discord archive madness tournament. Here we go. Here goes bracket download. So this is what we're looking at. Okay, last season. This was last season's. We'll probably re revamp it a little bit. But this was our top 32s. Okay, our top 32. So I essentially when brackets get released, when when groups get released, I fill them in. Group A, B, C, D, whatever it is. I make it a fillable PDF. Y'all go and pull who's going to win, how many wins each is going to have for each correct team that you choose with the amount of wins correct, you get a point. If you choose the group winner, you get a point. Then whoever has the most points at the end wins. And typically, I think we did two prizes last season. Uh, I think we'll probably do it again. And then we have additional, uh, an additional prize if you get a perfect bracket, which is very, it's going to be very, very hard. So this is for top 32. And then I do another one that is a winner take all for top 16. We do the same thing. You fill in your bracket, you choose a champion and you have to pick a score. And then that's how the, the scores are, are a tiebreaker just in case we have multiple. And then there will be one winner who wins a grand prize. I think last season it was in total. I think it was like $300 in prizes. I think it was 250 somewhere around there. These were the prizes from last season. So knockout uh, group stages, 75 for perfect bracket, 50 for best submission, 25 for runner up. And then we did $100 for perfect bracket or 75 for best submission for the knockout stage. So if you want to be a part of it, you're more than welcome to. You do not have to join the Discord if you do not want to. It is just an added perk that I do for my community um, because I'm a competitive guy. I do fantasy football. We are going to be looking at doing fantasy football this season. Maybe I'll do one with the creators if they watch football. I don't know if they do. Um, a fantasy football league with my community and all that kind of stuff. So if you like that kind of stuff, come hop on. Come hang out. Make sure you head over to the Rolls channel, though. That's where all the games and shit get unlocked. Um, let's see. Go GT. I'm not saying EE lost a lot of troops fighting in KVK, but EE might have lost a lot of troops fighting us in KVK. <laughs> Dang, Groggy out here. <laughs> JWM versus JST. I take JST all day, baby. I'll take JST all day. Uh, FCN lost. Yep, low blow. Got the best bracket so far. Um, let me see. Oh shit, wrong one. Uh, Lambo, Lambo, Lambo. Let me see. What 14k JWM? Hmm. MTO. So that's one that's off. N3X. That one's off. LIG SNC one has potential, but we'll see that next week. OUO is wrong. Um, so that's what three, 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 four FN lost. LV lost. That's five. TN loss at six. Mm, Eve, Eva lost in 31. That's seven. FCN loss. That's eight. So he has eight wrong thus far. Uh, I'll tally it up and I can post uh, like an update if people get eliminated. That way we're not doing it on stream. I don't want to bore the shit out of y'all on that one. The visions are not yet decided. Anything can happen next week. Mo true. True. I'm not going to sleep on anybody, but true. Hova picked against squad. Rip Hova. <laughs> Go flame him in the Discord. Now we have proof. Now we have proof. The division's not yet decided. Yep, not perfect. Yeah, none of us are perfect. Dang, look at that hard flex from Lambo. But I have an Osiris League champ skin. Do you? Dang, do y'all feel that flex? Shoo, he's flexing so hard. Let's go check out some KVK. We got a little time to kill before the next match. Let's go, let's go watch some KVK. Let's go see if there's anything still left. I have the markers still saved, I believe. Let's see. Let's see what progress we've made. 
Uh, you made you made your point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard flex. I think the brackets are pretty close. They are pretty close. Take care. See you shortly in your 19. All right, Groggy. Thanks for hopping on, buddy. I think JWM is going to win this Osiris League. So I, Irene is saying they got a chance. If they're not winning both, well, they're not winning KVK. So they still got a chance. They got a chance, fam. I think OV, TR, 1V, and 374, at least today, those would be my top four. Believe it or not, the only reason, I think if you're talking teams overall, we can do that. But I think the bracket sets, sets the field. Like, if you would have told me last season, I, I thought 1AVG were a phenomenal team. But if you told me in, you know, top 16 first match, they're up against HKL, I would have said, nope, no shot. No shot. You know what I mean? Imagine if you get an OV versus a, a K374 round one of top 16. You're bound to get matchups like that. So it's very hard. I think with brackets, it makes it a little bit harder. If, I, if we're saying top teams overall without bracket and all that kind of stuff uh let me see what lambo said again lambo said da, 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 um, ovtr 1v374 ov i like i think 114 is gonna be one of them as well i still i still i think for this season I have 114S going further than 114K. So I'm going to put OV 114S. I'm going to put JST. And I'm going to have one that's a, a known commodity. Believe it or not, guys. If, if UCS plays the way that they played today, I think UCS will finally break into top four. So those would be my top four. If UCS play the way, they look scary today. And I mean, they look scary dominant in the middle. So I think UCS are constantly up in the, uh, up in the front, um, but they just never break through the threshold. So I think if they play the way they play today, they are going to be pretty hard to knock out. So those would be the ones. I think JST will be a surprise in the top four. And like I said, JST and 114S, y'all... It's dark horses, but I know because, and I say dark horses because a lot of people, if you ask them, if they think 114S is going to make it in the top four, most will say no. I'm saying that I think they will. You sent me two reports? All right, let's check them out. Let's check them out. Oh, I think Horseplay send, send me the, uh, the pick. Let me see. Lord almighty. Bro. We got mix. We got sieges in here. When was this? What time was this? 16. Did this just happen? Hold on. No, it didn't. Okay. I thought it just happened. I might be reading it wrong. Oh my God. The reinforcements. Why is this Theo? The deads. The deads. Those, those do still fall in favor of Smash Squad though. In favor of power... That was a nice little rally right there. It lasted for a while. How long did it last? Uh, 20... 17 minutes? It's not that bad. That was a lot of power lost in 17 minutes, though. Oof. Fatality. There you go. Nice. I like juicy reports. I like that. Oof. Lordy. Thug Light Years. Yes. Our boy Thug Light Years. Yes, sir. Okay. It comes down to it, guys. You make it expensive. Like, I know a lot of people, when you're going 2v1, you hunker down and you make it as expensive as possible. It, Like, your whales and those big boys will survive survive the wave. But your, your mid-tier to low-tier, if you make it super expensive, it... it it makes it where you're having to bow out, you know. 
because this is very expensive. You have whales that are losing 40 to 60 mil power, and we're not even in Kingsland yet. That's nuts. Nutty. Now, what I would be interested in hearing from is the players that are in this KVK, if they notice and feel, like, feel a difference between their marches in open field in Heroic Anthem and in Strife. I would venture to say that there's a massive notice, like a, a noticeable difference. But I would love, if you're in KVK right now and you played Heroic Anthem and Strife, do you notice a massive difference between your marches and how fast they get melted or how fast you melt people or vice versa? Because I, I really do think that is a big issue between the two. All right, let me see. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah, they're doing it. The one troop, the one trooper to... For Theodore secondary. It's smart. It's a smart play. I'm surprised we didn't see it more often. 24. There's one. There's one. There's one. Yep. 5k. That seems random. They're like, bro, I'm just going to send out 900 troops. <laughs> There's random one. There you go. Oof. Oof. So many deads. You love it. You're never crying over some deads. Let me see what horseplay sent me. Would be amazing we switched to 20 just to be able to run some different plans oh it hurts it hurts so good oh lordy it hurts so good 23 million troops holy smokes did ucs lose use a lot of trajans they did cam they used several uh in mid game ucs had i believe three or four trajans they essentially i did still see some ethels but they substituted out some of the ethels for trajans and that is what i'm keeping my eyes on as an art as an art caster because i i feel the meta starting to shift a little bit where people are gonna instead of sending ethels out they're gonna send trajans with maybe ethel secondary and they're gonna send that to the middle instead and i think that is where the shift is gonna happen you're going to start seeing less ethyl primaries and you're going to start seeing more Trajan ethyl combos going to mid. I think that's what's going to happen. Uh, why so many crickets? They have Baba. Uh, Baba has changed, man. JVM has changed drastically. Well, I saw the mail that got sent out in... <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just leave it at that. Uh... It all depends on how the brackets lined up after the second group rounds. Yeah, too much turmoil on JWM to put them in top eight. Yeah, I, I don't have them top eight. I don't have JWM top eight. It's now focused. Um, I won't dive into the drama. I'm not going to. I don't want to because then it's going to turn the stream into a drama. And I don't, honestly, guys, I could give two shits. I give two shits about the drama. I love me some drama, but I like, I like, you know, make, having some laughs out of it. The JWM stuff never has laughs. It just gets straight toxic. Like with, with me and Smash Squad, I love doing little, little jabs. People think, you know, if they don't know me, they think I'm just trying to pick on them and I'm not. I just like, I like, I like that. You know, it's the same reason people tag Chisco when they're, when they're going to stream KVK. It's the same effect, guys. Same effect. I have no hate. It's a video game. You want to have it's all love and happiness just here to have a little fun and that's it um one avg will win let me see oh in prison all right give me one second give me one second i might have missed that already let me see 748 390 lol oh yeah oh yeah oh 102 okay Let's see if the rallies are coming. Give him the boot. Thank you. I appreciate it, KM. Let me see. Time will tell. Yeah. I never wish bad on anybody. That just seems it seems like a it seems like the perfect opportunity to turn over a new leaf. That's all I will say about it. To turn over a new leaf, have new leadership, new recruitments, new like it just feels it feels it feels like time it, it just feels like it props to them though because it it la they you know through all the sh all the poop slinging contest they still stood they still stood which kingdom smash squad in they're in 1075 hmm. 1059 is dead after kvk which kingdom is fighting 
There's a ton of kingdoms. I'll bring it up here in a second. I just don't want to miss this rally. Actually, you know what? Here, I'll do this. Uh, I don't know how long the rally is going to be until it hits. Let me see. Um, I'm going to zoom out. Let me show you all the kingdoms that are in this one. That strife should be this one. There you go. Those are the kingdoms right there. Or here, I'll scroll up. There you go. One Imperium left. One Imperium left. There will be only one, Highlander. Only one. And there you go. There should be only one, Highlander. Let me see. Dun, dun, dun. No, no, no. There you go. We're going there. Boom, we're in it. We're in it. Win it. Hmm. Some whale lost 100 mil power. Was it was it for good use though? I heard the MK was it MK was going up against Tickle Fist, bro. I put my money on Tickle Fist all day, baby. Yeah, I put my tickle put my put my Tickle Fist. I put my money on Tickle Fist all day. I think it was MK versus Tickle Fist though. I got Tickle Fist, one hundred percent. Maybe if Lilith brings out better first champion skins, be more competition. Uh, you know, I, I think exclusives make games guys i'm telling you i said it all the time i wish that there was exclusive actual exclusives that would be released for big events and osiris league is big enough to where it should have its own thing it, whether it's the shop like when we're betting stuff like that have like a, a piece of gear that can only be one and make it hard to obtain you know it's gonna cost you a hundred thousand coins or make something where like only the really big winners are gonna win it that's what I want. I want something that makes it worth investing into the event. Because right now, they're making with the way how watered down it is, they're making Osiris League a joke. You know, it, it became a joke. There's the most we've ever seen so many teams that have zero points in Osiris League. They literally scored zero. They didn't even show up. They didn't even show up. Zero points. We got that Lohar out here. Mmm. Love to see it. All right, we're waiting for it. Oh, all right. Failed attempt. Lull. Wasted in prison. Yikes. Dude. Which kingdom is fighting? Maybe it's little. 114, 122, 77. We're 75 and 79. Yep. Chesco belongs to 75, but. Yeah. All right, let's look. Dude, did it take them that long for the rally? Lord Jesus. Jesus, take the wheel. All right, let's go see. Let's go look at the flags. Since we cast it yesterday. Okay. All right. I saw blinky blinkies and I was so excited. E -e. Good. This is what I wanted to see. Did we not say this yesterday, fam? I wanted to see. I knew that Smash Squad could hold. But what I wanted to see is I wanted to see them branch out. And I think as the, as it was finishing, I think they moved up top and then started clearing people out. And they burned, I think, like four or five flags in a row up top. This is what they want to do. I don't know if I would invest too hard going to the south because of all these forts. But you can clearly make like a little U shape right here and then just cut them right underneath this fortress and cut them and then just wrap towards the top again. And you're essentially locking them out from those passes. That way you save on flags, you save on troops, you save on all that stuff. That's what I would personally do. It looks like they're jettisoning out over here, which is smart. So we'll kind of separate them out. Let's see a flag, 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 flag. Fort's burning. You'd love to see it. Pretty fresh burn too, so that's good. Fresh. Oh, oh, it's magic. All right, this one's going to be bye-bye. What is that? Halfway done. Probably another like 12 hours and I'll be gone. So that's good. Let's just keep it burning. Let's move down south. This is where a lot of the fighting was. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Bring the pain. Hammer time. Hammer time. Let's see. It's a matter of pride. The great teams would fight in Osiris League at the highest of levels, even if there were no rewards. I agree, Lebo. I agree. 
But I think for the growth of the game, you have to make it incentivized. You have to have an incentive. The great teams will play it regardless. The great teams will play it regardless because it's a great game mode. But as a viewer, if you're trying to bring more people in and you're trying to open your 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 views, when you go and ask people about Osiris League, a lot of them say it's for one hour, one day a week, and the rewards are shit. And that is literally the only thing you hear. That's the only thing I constantly hear. I hear that people love it, they enjoy it, but it's for one hour, one day a week for crap rewards. And that is all I ever hear. So you gotta work as as a, as a developer. You have to work on those on knocking those those things down. Okay, they say everyone says if you took a poll right now, okay, take a poll. If you're Lilith, you take a poll and you say, on a scale of one to five, how excited are you about Osiris League rewards? I promise you, probably like ninety five percent of the people would put one and two. It's just not that hard. You can easily take a poll from your community and understand where you're falling short at. The one hour a week and all that kind of stuff those are kind of null points that just means that people want more stuff which is fine the demand is there that's good but you can fix certain things and that's what i would say now keep in mind this is just my opinion guys i could be oh my god my shirt is crusty af bro dude it's my hair oh no it dude it feels like i have like the super hold gel on dude look at this dude it's going nowhere bro Can y'all hear this? Look, look, look. That's... Hold on. Can y'all hear this? Check this out. Bro, no, no way. I'm literally gonna, my shirt's gonna stand up. It's literally gonna be able to stand up. Let's see. Oba. Who are you casting at 19 UTC? We're going to be casting CB versus NCB at 19 UTC. If it gets out of hand and then the other one is more competitive, then we may flip over. But it's CB versus NCB. I think it will be a very good match. I still have CB winning it, but I think it will be a very good match. There we go. Rally is in Alex with Harold. Yo. The different combos. You love to see it. Look, Sterling out here taking the MVP from Osiris League. Oh, hold on. All right, switch screens. Sterling taking the MVP from Osiris League, and now he is in the front lines, giving a little hammer time to the YSS Garrison here. And it's actually doing really, really well. This Alex Harold combo. Let's see. Teams that fight simply for rewards are the teams you don't want to make that, that don't make it far. Agreed. Agreed. But Lambo, did your team win because you wanted your team name broadcast and arc? He, he's not playing this season. He's talking about last season when OV won. He was he was a part of the OV team. I think winning I think winning large events adds credibility. I'm not I'm not signing up for Lambo, but there's a reason why when people recruit. What do you see on the recruitment ads? Literally, I'm telling you, that's all you see on recruitment ads. We won KVK1 and 5 and 7 and 19 and 27. We came up top 8 in Osiris League Season 1 and top 6 in Season 2 and number 1 in Season... That's how you recruit. That's how you make a name. That's, that's the easiest way to recruit somebody is by showing accolades. So, the senior name number 1 for 2 out of the 3 seasons give you credibility? Yeah. It does, it does, you know, at, at least in, in regards to ARC, it does. So that's what I would say about that. Uh, my current kingdom, we didn't register, da, 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 OV billboard in ARC, I say good marketing. It's true, it's good marketing. Guess what, when they're like, why should I come to 1052, just send them a screenshot of that shit and boom, you don't even need to talk to them. Just save your, save your words. LIG demolished. Yeah, dude, I called LIG just smashing some people. Yeah, put some, uh, how do they say it, Lambo? Put some respect on my name. <laughs> put some respect on my name. 
Uh, dude, the Alex is still going. Put some respect on Lambo. Put some respect on my name. Field, right? What's going on, Abdullah? How's it going, buddy? I just had too much salt today. It's all right. It's all right. I have a lot of pie on my face, and my hair looks like alfalfa. So I can't really argue with you on that one. Morning, Woody. Why you migrated? Who me? I've always you ask. You can ask Mad. You can ask Thor. How long I've been trying to get to 307. Literally, I shit you not. I, I spent almost a year and a half trying to get into 307. But because they were always Imperium and, you know, they use tickets on large ass players, which is fine. That's what you want as a kingdom. I always was like third or fourth for the ticket. And then I would constantly get pushed. So that's when I didn't wait. And then when uh, I talked with Mad, the, line, the timing just lined up and... We made it happen, but I've been trying for about a year and a half. You can ask Mad. <clears throat> Since I was from 90, from, what was it? When I went to 225, I had just migrated over and Mad and them told me, they're like, bro, we are seriously about to go and we're heading over to 1307. And it was like days after I had migrated over, I think, shit, I don't, I don't know the whole story. Um, and I was like, fuck. And I literally, they migrated over and instantly went Imperium. And I was like, oh, Lord. And I knew from then on the timing, our KVK timing was all wonky. But I never, it never happened. I migrated because I wanted to work on my commanders and meet some cool people. Yeah, he's with MF now. More than two months. That was prior kingdoms in the last two and a half years. Yeah. Oh. It's a good group. It's a good group. I do love Reaper and MF and all those guys. I know we had a ugly. Well, it was really ugly, but I, you know, we had a little falling out in 561, but I still respect all of them. I think all of them are phenomenal fighters. There you go. The rally breaks. We'll see if we can get some reports. We'll see if we can get some reports. I don't know if we'll get any, but we'll see. I can ask her. I actually, let me see. Is Chisco streaming right now? If Chisco's streaming, I won't ask Smash Squad for it. If Chisco's streaming, I won't ask for it because I don't I don't want to double dip on asking his members because that seems a little sus potato. And I try not to be sus potato. Let me see. Is Chis? I don't think Chis is online. I don't think he's online. Okay, I'll message him real quick. Let me see if I can get the report. You sent it to me? All right, one second. Hmm. Damn, dude, so so many of these rallies are neck and neck. That's just nuts. That is nuts. Let's see the buffs. 220. That's not that's not that ain't scrub life. That ain't scrub life. I wonder if it's the gear. It might be the gear. That's just nutty. Let's see what troops they sent. They got siege in this bitch. Dang. Siege. Siege, siege, siege. See, this is what I'm talking about, fam. There's so like I've never seen so many siege reports that are that are that are leveled off than I have in this KVK. It makes no sense. Look how many sieges. Even yesterday, when Smash Squad was full sending onto the flags, I think on EE on the bottom side, they were full sending T5 sieges and the, you know, the power loss was the same dude so many sieges that's see that's nutty to me in my mind that's nutty that sieges are holding up that well that's pretty nuts um there's something we said for a close tight-knit group of like-minded players yep they've been playing together for a very long time similar to like how i i always told everybody 96 rz i was a part of them 96 RZ came from other came from a whole other game as a group. They came from um oh my goodness, I just went I just went blank. Um Game of Thrones. They all came from Game of Thrones as a crew and then th that's where they came from as a group. And then they formed 96 RZ and uh, you know, the rest is history. There's something to be said about communities and I always tell everybody this even if devs, community content creators, anything like that build your community focus on your community communities will build games 
but you're, you, you don't want a game to build your community, if that makes sense. Your community should be what builds a game, not the, the other way around. Because communities will travel. They travel everywhere. If I go play uh, League of Legends and I have a tight-knit community that is here for me and not for the game, then you can travel anywhere and do anything you want to do. I could play Goat Simulator and still have the same crew, the core people, go and follow me. So focus on that. And you will go a long way. A long way. Oh, hey, baby. What's going on, Skywalker? It's because we are whores. We are whores in 307. Nah. <laughs> the Herald doing work. It's all community. Yep. The thing is, is for me as a content creator, I'm focused on building my personal brand community, not a Rise of Kingdoms community. That is Rise of Kingdoms job to build their community. I want to build my community. Let me see. So I'm in a D kingdom with a great, with a great small group of superior fighters that fight better than B kingdoms and A kingdom are doing it. Yep. It's all about who you know, my friend. I sent you. All right. OV last season. Have you seen Saladin YSS is garrison getting posts? Dude, I've been seeing people using Saladin and I'm not going to lie to you. I saw Chuni right before the first match. Chuni was, he was so triggered, dude. He was like, what the fuck are they using calves for? Like, it was so, dude, I would laugh. He saw a Saladin. He saw a Saladin garrison and bro, he was flaming. It was so good. It was so good. I was laughing my ass off. He was so triggered. He's so triggered. Now you know the key. All right, 1254, if you want to trigger Chuni, just send a salad in garrison. All right, low key. He got triggered. He got a nice community too, I think. I think so too. I think so too. Chiskul's, Chiskul's invested a lot into his community, which is good. That's what you want. You want. But at a certain point, it becomes too much. And that's the part that a lot of people have to understand. Once you grow to a certain, a certain number, chat is flying, you know, it becomes, it becomes a pain to keep up with chat. Like it, 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 there's, it changes the way you do content. Unfortunately, you have to adapt to it because the days of live streaming and keeping up with chat, like right now it's rolling slow enough where I can read everything. But if we had 3000 people all messaging me, I can imagine Chisco's just looking for the dono at that point it becomes like hey if you want your message read you got a dono kind of deal because the chat's just flying and flying and flying and you just so it changes the way you stream stuff so but yeah he's built a, an awesome community let me see let's see garrison is just op i think support skills there you go they went back to attila against yss let's see it should do i feel like this is gonna do a lot better i feel like this is gonna do a lot better Bob the Ninja. Dude, some of these names are funny as shit. Thug Lightyear's out here doing it again. Westy West. Look at Westy West out here. She. He ain't running the arc, but he's running trains. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the miss is claiming me. I love to see it. <laughs> Titch. 1235 in the same but a higher level. Yeah, I think 1235 is going to start opening some people's eyes. I've, you know, Titch has been, Titch has been hyping him up. So we'll see. Come on. He got that thick shake. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm out for 90 minutes. Be back next arc. All right, brother. All right. You know what? We're having a good time. We got some, we got, we got viewers, guys. We're just going to stick around. I think... What we're going to do is we're going to stream all the way until probably 1830 UTC. I will kill the stream. Then I will fire up a brand new stream. And then we will cast the 19 UTC one. Okay. Thank you again, Chesco, for posting that community post. I appreciate it, my friend. Thank you to all the new viewers here. Oh, crushing it. Crushing the likes. I think last season, the highest liked video that we had was an arc video and i think it went up for 250 likes is i think what we got so and i think it was the believe it or not low key low key i believe it was the smash squad video 
I'm not trying to rub salt in the wound or anything, but I believe the two highest view videos we had were the HKL, which was the inaugural match. I think we had like 5K views and I only had like 200 subs. And then the Smash Squad versus the Eve one that we had, I think like 3,700 views. And then I think it was like 250 like, I want to say, I think it was that one. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. But Saladin YSS handled a rally and double swarm. Really? Ooh, that's interesting. So you at 19. All right, Gambit, have a good one, buddy. Definitely. Mohammed, how's it going, buddy? Which kingdom is MF in again? He's in 1029. 1029. What's going on, Yoda? How's it going, buddy? Titch, I have no clue how the hell we beat OUO. LOL. A lot of people here low on troops. The power. Hey, Titch, do you have the report at the very end? Can you send it to me, bud? The, or the, uh, I call it the tell of the tape at the very end. Do you have that that you can send me? So I can show it on stream. We. Oui. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's all about making it expensive. Is Sterling just going ham? Arc chat on Discord. All right. Let's see, I haven't checked on Discord. Give me one second. Arc. Hoteli. Okay, we got some good pictures now. I'll wait till after this rally, and then I'm gonna show. I'll show you all the pictures from the PTOL match, a bigger version, and then the uh, 235 versus OUO. Dang, bro. Y'all sus potatoes on those provisions, man. We got to work on that. <laughs> Is he? One of the players and an R4. Yoda, we go into division finals against an alliance in our kingdom. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Hey, it's better. It's better than what happened with uh, 1399 last season. When you had BBTH and Eve in the same one and one of them had to go home. That's rough. That's rough. At least it's for it's it's for top 32. It could be worse. You could be like, I have a feeling that 1846 is gonna be they're gonna have some turmoil here in a little bit. They got two really, really well, they got multiple, but two really, really good teams that are gonna make it far. And I see them stacking up against each other, and that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. Oh, I didn't even post the pick. Let me see. Let's see if I can post that pick. Dude. Oh, maybe I won't. It looks like cum jizzle. Cum jizzle on the floor. That is rough. Yeah, dude. It should be fun, though. That'll be a good match. Dude, that's still going. Noodle. Giving him the noodle. Hulk smash. Uh, uh, BBTH was old school. 1157. My old kingdom. 870 days old. Dang. Yeah, BBTH were monsters. That That's one of the saddest. Like, that was sad to me. Theodora got subbed out. Let's see. Theodora will still tank really hard. Yeah, because think about it. From last season, let's see. From last season. Should be on our Discord because I showed y'all earlier. There you go. The rally broke. Let me show you all these reports real quick. And then I will show y'all. We'll show this top 16 and how many of them are actually not in it this season. Like they're just either in a different realm or for whatever reason, they just aren't in it. All right. So here's the PTO wall one. Okay, there's your PTO all match. Uh, they went one arc to two. So 114W took more. They took two arcs to one. 
but look at the occupation score. Like I told y'all, PTOL have no struggle taking occupation. The problem with PTOL when they do run in the future is what are they going to do when this score on occupation is close? And that is where it becomes dangerous. They are very good for at least one arc. For one out of three, they're, I, I'm confident in PTOL taking one of three arcs. What I'm, what usually happens is then when you get matches that the occupation is a lot closer, it becomes a little bit muddy in the middle. And that's the difference. That's the difference right there. 23 million heals, Lord Jeebus. And then here's the one from, from Eileen. Let me zoom in a little bit in a second. There you go. That's O-U-O. This is Titch's Alliance that he's a part of. Shout out to all the crew from, tw from 1235 that are in our discord. Uh, oh, you oh, 35k to 40k. Look at that arcs three to zero. Oh, lordy. Occupation is close. Provisions weren't close. Those three arcs, I'm telling you, they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. 11 million heals. Those arcs right there. That's a free dub. That's a free dub right there. Just because imagine if you're oh, you oh, and you take one of those arcs, it makes this a whole lot more interesting. A whole lot more interesting. Oh, I was going to show y'all. Let me see. Oh, it was on the Discord. Give me one second. While we're waiting for another rally. The rally, if y'all can send me the report, that would be great. If not, then we'll figure it out. Let's see. Madness, bracket, knockout stage. Actually, bracket download. It was this one. Okay, there we go. So out of this, 1341 is no longer there. That is squad. Okay, so I guess... You can kind of flip flop, but 1341 had a team this season, so we'll see. But I, I'll substitute them out. We won't count them because it's squad. 374 is still there. LIG are still in it. JWM are still in it. 411S are still in it. BBTH are no longer existing. Snow is knocked out officially. 411K. Um, we'll just say they're 1114. Rose no longer exists. UCS is still in there. Rays went to a different realm. So they're in Bastet, I believe. C9N are still in it. OV are still in it. HKL doesn't, or they do exist just in a different realm as well. And 1AVG are still there. So what, four? Four out of the 16? That's not terrible. It's not terrible. Four out of the 16. Let's look at the top 32 from last season. 1AVG still in it. 92SK just got eliminated. TOA is eliminated uh ov still in it sfs in it 495k are out mco just got knocked out jwm are there ouo got knocked out rays don't ex or they're in a different realm tza got knocked out bbth don't exist navi don't exist eve don't exist rose does not exist that entire group no longer exists um group e ttf are knocked out 411k don't exist they moved mto got knocked out snow got knocked out 0096 Got knocked out. PTOL still exists. 411S still. UCS still. C9N still. 49F got knocked out. LIG exists. TT got knocked out. HKL different realm. TN got knocked out. SX54 exists. And 1341 are squad. So there is far more of the top 32 that is up in the air than any other than any other season period. That should show you a whole group got completely obliterated out of there. That's nuts. That is nutty. All right, 1029 smoke. Yeah, you don't want that smoke. Let me see. There you go, there's another rally. Boom, we in it. That is rough, yeah. Which kingdom was Hulk from? Hulk? Uh, are you talking the one from 114? There's a bunch of Hulks. The one that I usually refer to is the Hulk that was in JWM that was a part of the SEAL Team 6 that then moved to a couple of different ones and eventually was in BBTH and then moved over to 114S. That is the Hulk I'm referring to. There's a bunch of Hulks though. OUO messed up at the start. One of their rallies on our obelisk at the start had T5 infantry in it that CC led. Oy. Bay. that's a bad one dude i've been watching too many gecko streams if i'm saying oy vey already bro lol lol in chat 
L even that look lullin chat that's gecko all over that right there i sent you the report okay i'll check it out after this one k374 is a kingdom in our kvk we lowered their troop counts a bit they're still i think that their strategy is so good though that it's it's gonna be hard it's gonna be hard they can retrain troops you can't teach somebody a good strategy or you can't you can't create recreate the wheel super fast but you can retrain troops hkl also no exist they do they just moved they moved they they moved uh realms they're in like 1532 or something like that somebody told me 1500s i think what happened to bbth um there was a there was a uh, from what i hear and this isn't the end all be all guys okay from what i heard i wasn't a part a part of it and the other part i was a part of but i'm not going to give like super details but from what i heard off the rip you had your seal team six when i was first coming in the seal team six guys are eventually left so that was probably half of leadership right there that just left okay so they let people had to pick up the pieces the conversation i think started around what to do kingdom focus i think half the group wanted to focus on kvk half the group wanted to focus on osiris league and then the divide became so big that then they they split up and then you saw people you saw a mass exodus to 375 then there's still some that stayed in 1399 and then that's what ended up happening bbth essentially became a one team alliance where we consolidated eve into bbth to account for the amount of players that we lost um where is this going hold on hold up is this a city bring the city is this a city oh man am i gonna have to follow this shit? damn it bro please don't go on like a super hiatus if somebody knows where this rally is going let me know the way i can check it out i'm trying this is where i wish the lines wouldn't freaking disappear okay so it's that one where are we going where are we going is this going to a city nope that's him where'd the line go this is what i don't like the line freaking disappears now there you go where's it going okay Oh Lord, we're going homeward bound. Is that what's happening? Dude, where'd the line go? Triggered. That's the stupid part. I wish the line wouldn't freaking disappear, dude. So triggering right there. All right, I already lost the goddamn rally. Blows. Oh, there it is. Okay. Line don't disappear, you sus potato. much longer two minutes bro okay i'm not wasting my time on two minutes i'm gonna have to track that thing for two minutes if somebody knows where it's going let me know i don't want y'all to have to watch me track a rally people migrated yeah it just just happened guys hko for the win <laughs> rally marching okay okay i'll go check those cores out here in a hot second I'll go check those out in a hot second still had two minutes so we'll see how long this rally lasts zoom out on map to see that line can you can you is that a thing it, do, do i suck that much ass i didn't know that dang oh what time is it all right 45 minutes 45 minutes we fire up the next one 45 minutes we fire up the last stream for knockout week for this for this for the first week of knockout week Dude, we're already crushing it. 2,000 playbacks already. Yo. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Jesus, a bunch of people. Oh shit! Not Bunny's dog. <laughs> Dude, so many people jumped on the Discord. I'm gonna have to send a message out in a little bit. 
I'm gonna have to send a message out in a little bit. That way on Discord, because there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be coming in for that madness tournament thing coming very soon. So we'll see. Rally marching zoom out. Dude, I, I might have to go check this other one. Yeah, let's go see about the city rally. God damn it. I keep clicking the wrong one. There we go. Let's do 420. 407. All right. Oh, we missed it. Oh, it's on a 45 mil. Nah. Small potatoes. If y'all have the rally report, then you can send it to me. Small potatoes. Dude, march all the way over there. Oh, hell, we lost our spot now. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. How y'all doing today, man? Y'all are awesome. Y'all are crushing the light game today. If y'all have questions, oh, so we talked about this earlier. Now I have a bigger audience, so thank you again, Chesco. Question I want to ask. I want to ask, and I, I want to see what y'all think, okay? We talked about it at the beginning of the stream. Somebody brought it up, and I really wish I could have expanded longer, but the match was starting. Sea Warfare. Forget the lag. I already know the people are going to say it's going to lag. It's going to blow, blah, blah, blah. It, Rise of Kingdoms in general, would you be excited if there was open field ship warfare on water? Yes or no? Just yes or no? Uh, we'll dive deeper into it, but just from the 128 people that are here in the stream, in your opinion, yes or no, you as a Rise of Kingdoms player, if I told you that there was potential for them to have open, like, open march or open you know movement for ships on water would you be down with that would you be down with that yes no no the nuclear battleships yeah somebody suggested they literally were like, bro, I'm going to rename myself the Titanic and just go over there and just get melted. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Hell yeah. Yeah, Titch, for sure the map needs to the, the map needs to change. It would have to change if that was the case. It also would come down to the logistics and stuff like that. We'll talk about that here in a minute. I'm going to let the chat. Yes, yes, yes. 100% no no yeah no no how would the ship's battle work though guys we already okay I have this idea and this is very simplistic okay these are just ideas this is just me giving ideas and opinions and, and that's how I good good ideas come out think about it if you substitute this here uh, why are we on simplified graphics what the fuck okay think about this Instead of this, right? Y'all see the march with the soldiers and all. I want you to imagine a boat from an eagle eye view looking straight down a ship. You see a boat, you have the little mast, whatever, okay? Now, when you direct a march going this way, this way, this way, this way, just imagine a ship doing the same thing. I know it's, it's a simplistic view on it, okay? Now, here comes the other part, AOE. You have commanders that have V-shaped circular AOE. They pop skills. They do all that. What What's the difference in a ship? Ships have cannons. Ships can ram. Ships can do, you know, I guess the ramming technique might be a little hard because you actually have to have animations of it. But think about it. You have cannons on the side. There's AOE. You have V-shaped AOE. Maybe there's a skill for your ship that allows you to do circular AOE, like where it does all your cannons fire at one time. The, the, the possibilities become endless when you start adding in new ways to fight. Now, hear me out. So there are a ton of yeses on here. And I, I honestly, I firmly do believe that is, this will be, if they do it correctly over the course of the future, if they do it correctly, this is one of those things 
that will create a ton of life shelf for Rise of Kingdoms. A ton of life shelf. Because think about this. I and I'm just throwing ideas, like I tell y'all. I want y'all to imagine KVK. Okay. We have land, right? We have land like we have it right now. Uh let me see if I can zoom out real quick. I'll zoom out real quick. Okay, we have our map, right? We have our map. I want y'all to imagine. Okay, it starts off, y'all know from land to sea, so on and so like I guess if you're not American, you won't really know it, but if you add in body, small bodies of water that cross over territory that you can then cross over, they lock, do whatever it is. But here's here's an idea the, that you have your KVKs eventually transition from land to sea. Okay, so what I'm talking about is I want you to imagine King's Landing being a big ass island. Okay, a big ass island where the only thing that is on land is this right here is this everything around this in king's land is water so you are literally fighting to get to the land and you start creating dynamics where you're fighting you you have to be on both so this is the the other part that we talked about in the beginning of the stream i probably sound like a crackhead to a bunch of y'all and that's perfectly all right because the best ideas typically come from absurd ideas okay you start developing, they've already laid some 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 blueprints down for it, okay? By expanding the marches to seven marches, okay? Now, hear me out. If you introduce ship warfare or ocean warfare or water warfare, whatever you want to call it, okay? You then can have five marches on land, maybe a boat or two in the water or one boat. If you limit everybody to one boat, that way, you know, it's a little bit different. You start creating different dynamics where you have mass rallies in the water, you have rallies on land, and you're creating different dynamics. That is what I would be interested in seeing. I want to see diversification. Can you imagine? I know Chesco brought up this idea as well, like King of the Hill. Okay, King of the Hill, um, Domination, stuff like that. Now, let me ask you this. You play Domination with ships off the rip or King of the Hill with ships in the water, where instead of Osiris Lake being nothing but sand, it becomes nothing but water. You're just adding new dynamics, new events, new game modes. You, you, you're you bringing in diversity. And I think that's where it's gonna, it's gonna hit a lot of people. They're not gonna like it because it's different, but I think they need different. I think competitors are gonna push them to be different. They're going to push them to be different. And that's what you want. Uh, let me see where we're at. I think we were right. Sorry about that, fam. Uh, right here, I want to say. Right? Am I wrong? Where's the fighting at? Bro, am I wrong? Yeah, I'm wrong. There it is. It's right here. This is, I think, where most of the fighting. So it's orange and blue. Okay. In the words of Drago, let's go to where the tips touch. Oh, there we go. There's oh, bye, bye. Oh no! Did they rally or just swarm him? Lol. Oh, everybody, if you're a member in the stream, let's all put the Bulba deceased emojis because this guy is going to the shadow realm. Rip, rip to this guy. Bye. Bye. Junk battleship streams. Dude, you know you'd be loving that, Miss Bulba. Come on now. How would the ships work? T5 ships equal submarines. Dude, can you imagine somebody calling themselves the yellow submarine? Dude. Oh, man. The USS Titus. You, you, you did have some people come out with some creative ass names. I'm telling you right now. Vikings for the win. I'm excited. But see, tell me this. How do you have Vikings but don't have Athens? Athens. My guys. Greeks. Greeks. Like, how do you not? How do you not? They were literally known for their navy. So I'm looking for them to expand on it. If you're going to introduce that, you better expand on it. Because not having Athens, that's, that's a lull right there. Because the Vikings were, yes, were known for it. But Athens... They were synonymous. That's 
one of the greatest fleets you've ever seen. They literally look at movies. They have movies and history buffs, and it's just nuts. Lol. If somebody has that report, send it to me, please. That swarm, that nasty swarm. Um, for spenders, it would be good, but free to play would have a bit harder. Maybe, maybe snipe. Uh, snipe. Maybe they don't do. I can see where they would add in like legendary boats and epic boats and all that kind of stuff i can see like there's going to be a little bit of draw but maybe you you kind of work it out okay you start with basic epic boats for everybody until you get it and then you do like a boat event or like dude you could do you know one-on-one -on -one ship warfare literally you can do 1v1s with your boats or do you know there's so many little things that you can do. Like I get, but trying to push against progress is going to hurt the game, not help the game. Let me see. I'm sending Captain Jack Sparrow to <laughs> to rally a friggin' city. Hell yeah. Dude, Rage is catching on here. Captain Crack Sparrow. Yes. YSS going to rule the front. Yes. Riverboat Ron will now be able to dominate the oceans. And now his turtle will make perfect sense. Because be, it being on land makes absolutely no sense. All right. Go where the tips touch. That is what I was told. Advice from Drago 101. Go where the tips touch. Hashtag only the tip is what I was told. One second. EE. -E. Having a farm session. Lol. All right. Let me see. Where else? Where did the tips touch? We have anything down here hello okay okay lots of lots of afks i like i like are we gonna rally yes maybe no maybe maybe not yes not okay got about 30 more minutes in this just hang out i hope y'all are enjoying the stream fam and welcome to all the new people and thank you again chesco for the the desk pop i love it appreciate it let me see uh was it the son of a gun where the tips touch there you go right here hashtag just the tip let me see put troops on the ship to strengthen the ship hey, guys i'm telling you the the y'all laugh but <laughs> somebody said what if we send like a ship rally and i was like bro that's a fantastic idea you send like like marine warfare and you st you have like a cluster of ships can you imagine that in the water just get like a cluster of ships rallying you know you sunk my battleship and then you have some sweet ass animation when your ship gets destroyed and it just sinks to the water dude i'd be so excited for that can't do cab boats lol <laughs> sieges sieges on the boat oh I expect it to be single player, like expedition mode. See that? I would be okay with that. You know, I I don't know. I feel like that's a that's kind of a chalk. It's kind of a chalk. You're already unless they're doing that to test it out to then use it in future, I could see that. But in expedition, guys, let's be real. Once you beat the expedition, no one gives a shit about that game mode. No one gives a shit about it. I'm talking about the the longer shelf life for ROK. That is what I care about because it's a good community, but it becomes stale. It becomes stale. In the down periods, people are leaving. You know, KVK nobody cares about KVK or sorry, Osiris League nobody cares about KVK. Everybody cares about, but can no longer sustain with how fast they're going. You know, it's just I don't know. I don't know. What's your comment on new civs landing soon? I think it's long past due. If you want to know what I really think, I think the new civs, okay, were needed, but I also think they need to buff some of these these epics. I've been saying it for a long time. They need to they need slight buffs on all the epics because right now with all the skills and all this crap, if you don't have five legendary marches going out, you're getting absolutely tickle fisted. Okay? Yeah, you like that? That name drop right there? You're getting absolutely tickle fisted in the field if you don't have five legendary marches going out. So if you're sending out epics, you're getting absolutely blasted. So, you know, I think there needs to be some sort of buff to old epics. 
And I think they need to introduce some other epics as well. Even if it's just one, but a fighting epic. I don't mean, I don't need a goddamn farmer epic. I need a fighting epic. They can at least not feel like a wet tissue in the wind. You know what I mean? That's what I'm looking for. Life shelf, shelf life. There you go. Mrs. Bulba correcting me. Damn it. Dang it. Let me see. Disaster territory in the water. Let me see. Uh, why not build bridges over the rivers? They do have bridges over the rivers already. You remember? Because Chisco was streaming. When Chisco streamed, they were literally doing a bridge stare down. But the bridges don't look big enough for a boat to go under. So it's kind of like, eh. Towns may need to change also. Be able to port, port on water. God, dude, that would be legit. Can you imagine having a little island? Bro, I'd be... Sign me up. Sign me up. Now, will it ever happen? Well, you know, maybe not. But a man can dream. King of the hill and ruins and altars. That'd be dope, Titch. I would love to see that. So here's here's an idea as well. Because ruins and altars have become pointless. You show up early for the most part. For the most part. Okay, there are some that are still very good. But usually it's only the first ruin and the first altar that is good. Then the turnout is becomes abysmal. What if you made it a one and done ruin fight? One and done. Okay. You only are allowed to send one march in and that is it. Once it dies, it is dead. And then the last one standing takes the ruin. And then your alliance... All your members in that alliance or in that kingdom would then earn points. That way you don't have to send marches into the ruins. Do it as a one and done ruins. Everybody and it increases participation because then it's no, there's no excuse. You send your one best march. Everybody goes into the ruins. You battle it out. Winner takes all. Winner takes all. It no longer becomes about that. I think it would make it interesting. It makes it better for free to play. Because guess what? I'm sure free to play have one really good march. I would like that. It's a brawl, a rumble in the jungle. You know what I mean? Makes it interesting. Um, King of the Hill and Ruins. Maybe if you're on water, the city will turn to a ship. That's true. There's there's a lot of little things. The new battle arena Dota like mode should be a blast. Hmm. Don't expect much from Leu. A guy can dream, guy. Okay? That's it. That's why I said they're just ideas. It's not something that I expect to ever come to fruition, but it's something that I I, I always suggest things that potentially, because I can tell you right now, some of the suggestions we made for the Osiris League make more sense than what's going on right now. So if they ever get heard, then that's that's cool. But if they don't, then it's not like we didn't say it. Uh, the land units be able to attack ships and vice versa. See that nomad that would be probably the most difficult part is that is understanding how the transition if there would be a transition what the transition would be from from land to sea. Does it make it where you can only do a boat like you you have to place your ship in a certain body of water or does a march that is marching to the water then turn into a ship that then trans that part, I think, would be very difficult. And that's the only thing that I would say is the hardest part. Think about pirating and shit. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Call myself Baby Shark. Yes, yes. Now you're catching on. Now you're catching on. I love the fog. Let me see. Expedition needs an update. Yeah, we've been calling for an update for a long time. Switch switch Ethel out for Mulan. Make it pointless. Make it make it use. I have 1.2 million things that I can't use on shit. That's just sitting there. They need to make the new AOE skill walk the plank. Dude, that would be funny. Can you imagine? Fatality. Finishing move. Walk the plank. <laughs> Not available. That's funny. How's it going to try misses and ROK? I have tried. The last time I tried getting the misses into ROK, she wanted to attack and swarm Mad Phantom when I created her account in 1307. So, yeah. Fog is her favorite part. Legit. <coughs> I'm trying to get the misses on for a fog clearing party where she streams the fog. 
y'all can ask her all your questions and do all that shit. It will not be about commanders. I promise you that. I guess they stopped rallying. It will not be about commanders, but y'all can get Mrs. Bulba on the ROK. Because I, I can't tell you how many requests I've gotten for that. Getting Mrs. Bulba to play Rise of Kingdoms. The problem is the missus always wants to attack. If she sees some shit moving in the wind, she doesn't look at who it is. She just wants to burn all the all, burn it all to the ground. And that will probably get me in more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> all right. I don't see any rallies coming through. Let's see. You'll be a million. Uh... Yeah, I told missus that she should she should sell her her fog clearing services. And I bet you she'd make a lot of money. Disaster. No, no, no. I, I see you, Disaster. Sorry. I, I keep trying to look back and forth. Um, sorry about that. Let me scroll up and I'll get you real quick, brother. Let me see. Disaster. Let's be like you get cardboard boat free. Dude, that would be so funny. Cardboard boat. $5 rubber... No, not a rubber float, a rubber duck. Okay, the $5 rubber duck bundle, okay? And then you get the $10 plastic tub, okay? The $25 mini boat. He says a big boat, but the 25 has to be the mini boat. The $50 ship and the $100 cruise. I love it. I love it. I love that dude disaster. Let's let's somebody clip this, please. That way we can. This is literally going to go in my discord right here. I want to clip that. I'll go back in chat and go and clip that. That is awesome. That, that, there was a lot of thought that went into that. Maureen saw it coming. Yep. Her name already works. Yep. I'm about to spend my 929 gold heads on Harold. Now I'm going to hold it a bit until I see the update and see the legend. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> legendary sea captain. Yeah. Captain Jack Sparrow coming out. I would hold off anyways because a lot of people are only talking about the Vikings. They're still forgetting about the calves that are coming out too. So there's actually four that are coming out. The calves, the two calves, and then the two, I assume they're going to be infantry. Expedition, expedition needs updates. Yeah, they're useless at this point. Let me see. Dude, that was so good. Let me see. Disaster. Are my messages? Yeah, I did. I got you. Sorry about that, bud. I appreciate it. Where is the money? Show me the money! Honestly, best ruins idea I've heard yet. Maybe adjust it a bit, but it's a good start. I just, I want it, like, everybody complains about it not being free-to-play friendly. That is about as free-to-play as you're gonna get. You're, you're, you're putting the whales and the free-to-play almost on the same level, sending, hey, you send one march in, once you get knocked out, you are knocked out, and the winner takes all. It comes down to participation. It comes down to march organization because you're not necessarily going to send your best march. Some are going to send to buff and serve a role. Others are just going to full send a bunch of Richards, which is going to be boring AF, but we'll see. You know, I think that's a good alternative. A long time no see. What's going on, Adam? Got that Raid Shadow Legend money yet? No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I'm a slow dang the missus why you be flaming me like that god damn a slow reader yeah I got that fifth grade reading level we're gonna help her zero you bro low key two from vikings at least one epic because sibs need an epic starter who was the epic for the ottoman did I miss that for the ottoman when they released those who was the epic or am I dumb? I'm probably dumb. When they released all those, who is the epic for those? Let's see how it goes. At least a good epic infantry commander will be great. Maybe I would like to see. I want to see new epics for all the classes. I don't want it just for infantry. Hey, foo, and your string so you can take me to get more coffee. Okay, okay, okay. We'll go get more coffee. Osman, uh, what? I thought Osman was one of the OGs. Oh, no. Okay, I'm sus potato. All right, let me go take the wife. 
I don't want to leave all y'all, but y'all been crushing it. I got about about 35 minutes before we fire up the last stream for our cast this weekend. I look forward to seeing y'all. Thank you again for all the subs, guys. Thank you again for all the donos, the you know super chats, all that, guys. GG's to Smash Squad. Y'all got a pie in the face. If you don't know, I will try to see if somebody can find the exact timestamp, and then I will add it to the bottom of the video uh, in the description. So I appreciate y'all. Thank you again for coming and hanging out with us. I hope I see y'all again. 19 UTC in about 45 minutes. We'll fire up a brand new one. Uh, but until then, from the bottom of my crusty ass heart, from the bottom of my crusty, look at this. From the bottom of my crusty ass shirt and head and my hair, I appreciate all the love and support y'all been showing us. And I, you know, you know, I love it. Thank you again, Chisco, for the shout out and sending your fam over to us. And yeah, guys, you know, we can talk about this more later on, but I'm going to head out. Got to take care of the wife, go get her some coffee. But ladies and gentlemen, I am Anthony with the Bull Burritos, and I will see you all on the next live stream. Bull Burritos out.